traitor. I see. Very well. Not can be done. other side? How about the two of us make it all ours? Long, long ago, in an age when the cosmos was still known as chaos, the world was split into two stars, that of the east and of the west. Under the guidance of their respective dragon envoy, the people of each star prospered. Their populations grew, and they built villages and cities. As they turned their eyes towards the heavens, the people would gaze upon the stars in wonder. What fantastic realms existed far beyond their sight, and would they ever live to see them? Countless years passed them by, leading to the present day. The western star was first to obtain the dragon's breath. And under the rule of a single king, it is uniting the people of its land into one great kingdom. Meanwhile, the eastern star remains composed of countless warring nations, each contending for supremacy over the other in ceaseless battles. One amongst these contenders is the land of Oda. Surrounded by several powerful nations that seek to unify the world, the people of Oda have worked story of courageous warriors who are born of two different stars and dared to dream of worlds far beyond their own. They laughed, cried, lived, and loved. This is the proof of their lives. I take it? Yeah. And Mitsu, you betrayed me again, you ass. I've been having this dream a lot lately. That stunt doesn't bug me. But if you lash out every time someone wakes you up, you'll kill all your friends. What friends? You and Monkey are the only pals I want or need. <sighs> Still, it doesn't set an example befitting of the heir of the Oda clan. <sighs> Don't you go parroting my dad about setting an example and all that dumb bullshit. Are you getting old on me or something? <laughs> Maybe so. At any rate, I can't say that I approve of how you're blocked to. Awari may have obtained powerful allies thanks to Lord Nobuhide's exploits. But Takeda, Inuesugi, not to mention countless other warlords are- Yeah, I know, I know. With as much as you carry on about this crap, I can't help but learn a thing or two. I tell you, I've never seen hair that color before. They must have been a foreigner, or maybe from space. Because, wow, that smell was out of this world. She was a hottie, as you say? Yeah, you bet. Wait, I didn't say it was a chick, did I? Come now, Nobu. I could tell as much from the look on your face. Just how long do you think I've known you, anyway? Yeah, right! <laughs> Definitely a chick. I mean, she had a dude's day, but... All right, Nobu, way. enough. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you see that it's incessant nonsense like this that has everyone calling you Nobunaga the Fool? <sighs> What's wrong? It stinks. <laughs> Lord Nobu! <laughs> what is it, monkey? And keep your gorilla feet off the chrysanthemums. Yeah, well, we don't have time for flowers or small talk right now. There's some crazy-ass stuff going on down over here. Just tell us, Hideyoshi, what did you find? <laughs> some quarry worth hunting for. Hmm. Some quarry, all right. I stumbled on them when I was checking out the hunting grounds. They belong to Lord Shingen Takeda. Oh boy, who do you think they're about to attack? Why are you so excited, Hideyoshi? For Takeda to have brought this large of an army so close to the Oda's borders must mean... Stinks. Huh? Looks like I made the right move when I blew off Nobukatsu's party. 
These guys seem like they're ready to rumble. And now's my chance to finally get an up-close good look at how the bastard Takeda fights his battles. Nobunaga! Where is Nobunaga? Katsuye, where has my son gone off to now? My lord, he said that he was going hunting. He has not been seen since yesterday. He went hunting? <laughs> what does he take his younger brother's coming-of-age ceremony for? Curse that damn fool to hell! All platoons, commence boarding your performance chairs. Armor shells, lock down in sequence. All units activate. Performance system circuits linked. Armament control online. Battle Hawk 2-1, advance. Platoon 2, advance. Gunnery support team, enforce the distance between us and Battle Hawk 2-3, charge their left flank. Section 7, surf logistics support. I didn't see any giant battle armor, did you? I suppose that means Lord Shingen isn't here. But they're definitely going to war right now! Field battle! Don't bet on it. Oh? Now nah, these assholes are just testing the waters. Hey, wasn't there an animal trail that led to the fort just up to the right? Hell yeah! You wanna check it out? I'm going ahead, me too. Keep a pace that won't kill Monkey and follow me. Let's go! Horikage! We got it! I see. The motive behind this attack isn't to gain territory but to see whether the Oda clan would act quickly if they toppled this small base. Hey, Mitsuhide, like, what do you think they'll learn from testing the waters anyway? Our soldiers' expertise, logistics, communications, anything really. For someone as proficient on the battlefield as Lord Shingen, who knows how much information he could glean from this skirmish. Huh? What's that you say, Lord Nobunaga? What are you, Dev? Listen up! Takeda's battle armor is headed straight for you. I'd say there were at least 20 of the things and 30 times that many foot soldiers. Don't you get it? There's no way you stand a chance against them! Nonsense for truth! You seriously think I'd drag my ass out here if this were all just nonsense? You need to hurry up and pull out of the fort! Build a new line of defense in Otsu or something! Absurd! Are you telling me to abandon the fort that Lord Hayashi bequeathed unto me? To think that the heir to the Oda clan is such a feeble recreant? If word of this abhorrent betrayal were to reach your father, Lord Nobuhide's ears, he would truly be crushed, no doubt! His useless son, Lord Nobu the Fool! As you can see, my fort's defenses are peerless. Even if Takeda's forces were to come, it is inconceivable that even a single soldier would breach our walls. Get out! the world's inner echo, its voice. <gasps> it is the voice that speaks to you. A 
Are you not curious to discover where those premonitions of yours may lead? How do you know about the voice? Allow me to introduce myself. I am none other than the man they call Leonardo da Vinci. Stars now have a savior king. This is a feast of knowledge I simply must indulge in. The savior king, you said? Let us set out together to the Eastern Star. from your homeland. Come to think of it, I don't recall your parents objecting to the fact that you were leaving for the Eastern Star. Well, you see, in their eyes, I'm possessed by demons. I imagine they're thrilled to be rid of me. I haven't seen you in ages, Maestro da Vinci. My word. If it isn't Admiral Magellan, allow me to offer my sincere thanks to you for accompanying me on this voyage. Hmm. Think nothing of it. Am I correct to assume that the purpose of this trip is to test the new battle armor that you designed? Indeed. And I take it this lovely lady before me is the assistant you previously mentioned. Though to be blunt, with those gauntlets she looks more like a bodyguard than a mere assistant. Even for one such as I, the Eastern Star is virgin soil. Therefore, if I'm going to bring a young lady with me, she must. Frankly, I don't give a damn. I'm sure she's working as your model, too. At any rate, feel free to do all the giant battle armor activation tests you like. I greatly appreciate that. We've both sworn our allegiance to King Rip. The time is now. You must cut a path to your destiny. <laughs> Did you hear a divine revelation? It's time. I have to go now! And I shall accompany you! Monsieur Da Vinci! Yes? This doesn't seem right! Are you sure we can take the ship? Oh no, we are being quite rude. Voice told you to leave at once, did it not? Well, I suppose, but hold your tongue or risk biting it off, my dear. The landing unit to Akatori has broken off without authorization. The guards are responding. Akatori has crossed the Dragon Bane's interference zone. <laughs> we'll be fine. The engine took but a glancing blow. We're getting hit hard from the Dragon Bay. At this rate, our ships will make it. Send a team of tracking ships after them. I want them back dead or alive. How am I supposed to... What in heaven's name are you thinking? like all of Takeda's troops have left the area. Turns out it was like Nobu said, they were only testing the waters. They call this recon? Because it looks like a massacre. And from what I hear, Takeda didn't even bring out all of his battle armor for this. The gap between our forces is simply unimaginable. Hideyoshi, 
Don't you know it's distasteful to steal from the dead? You know, I seriously doubt these guys give much of a crap at this point. I'll be sure to put their stuff to good use. <sighs> talking about I saw it with my own two eyes this is war this is how war is waged in the new era and what the hell could I do <laughs> hey do me a favor and tell me am I crying or am I laughing both you do well to brace yourself Joan Good fortune, or will it prove to be an omen of calamity? It's a star. <laughs> this is Ichi. So this is where you ran off to. It's dangerous up here. A star is falling. I'm scared. I'm afraid something bad is about you to happen. You had it wrong, Ko. Where are, are you, you know Nobu? The star it'll come true. If only we could offer them even a single flower. It's such a shame to leave them out in the open like this. Not really our fault. All we can do is tell everyone at the castle what happened and make sure it doesn't happen again. This is bullshit. And I won't stand for it. Nobu, when war changes, the times will follow suit. And I won't just sit on my ass while that happens. If a new era is heading our way, then I want to be smack in the middle of that hurricane. Hell yeah! Monkey? You can count me in! I promise I'll be right there with you churning up that hurricane of the ages or whatever you called it, Lord Nobu. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe what I'm hearing. Hmm? Mitsu? Aren't you getting ahead of yourselves? If you're going to knock fists and then make these ludicrous impassioned speeches, let me in on the fun. <laughs> Guess I'll have to. will change the face of this world! Let's give him hell, you guys! The samurai can never go back on his word. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, check it out. That big-ass, huge shooting star will serve as our witness to our sacred oath. Hmm? Am I seeing things or what? No. I'm pretty sure that big-ass shooting star is actually getting even bigger. <laughs> this star's got some serious balls thinking it could come crashing down on us. Think again, star! <laughs> the hell? <laughs> That's what shooting stars look like? No. It would appear to have been created by human hands. Could this be one of those so-called starships that I've heard the Western Star is in possession of? Nobu! Where are you going? There's no telling what could happen. I kind of have a feeling the worst is behind us. Besides, with all this smoke, I can't tell what's what if I stop. Oh, what is it, Nobu? It's nothing. I'm all right. That smell. Is anybody here? Nobu! Oh, Nobu! Hey, you there? Are you okay? Balancer, I'm ending sensitivity plus zero three. Roger! Falco Uno, andare! Falco Due, andare! Mitsuhide, it's too dangerous! I have to! This is some kind of reception. Let's give it straight to the big guns! Hear my voice and be still, you who are led by the fate of the stars. None other than the true savior 
Your king can breathe life into the armor before you. Your king? I got no clue what you're talking about, but bring it on! All right, listen up, giant battle armor. You're mine now! Let's freaking do this, baby! It looks like the fool has woken from his slumber. How positively delectable! The time is ripe. inside that starship. Uh, Nobu, is this girl a friend? Hell if I know. Figure she's from the Western Star, though. <laughs> okay! Digging that view! <laughs> what a wonderful habitat for our battles will cross so soon! Shut up! Who goes there? I was certain that I could only find a suitable match for my new battle armor on the Eastern Star, and here you are, standing before me! I thank the voice of heaven for leading this maiden here. <gasps> Such mystical alchemy could only transcend the very stars of- Will you take it down a notch, you loudmouth? That armor over there, is it yours? Si. Victoria. Absolute mark. Dici. The latest and greatest masterpiece from my studio. Monsieur da Vinci! Lovely. It appears Mademoiselle survived unscathed. Bravo. You found the Savior King so quickly, didn't you? Well, I still haven't confirmed.
confirmed it. Does not all happen in life for a reason? Perchance we should let our fate flow with a dragon vein. Feel free to assess him however you wish. Si, senor. We appreciate your aid, fine gentlemen. We are forever in your debt. Eh, yeah, don't worry about it. Guess you saved our asses too. But it doesn't look like your giant battle armor took it too well, did it? <laughs> Guess my awesome moves wrecked it. No, no. I can assure you it's not broken. It merely needs a little rest to recharge itself. And it must sync with your star's dragon. Now on to the sacred treasure. Eh, even armor needs a nap, doesn't it? By the way, I'm Nobunaga Oda of Owari. Who are you, and what are you doing in these parts? I hail from Vinci of the Western Star. My given name is Leonardo. If you would, you are most welcome to call me Da Vinci. Hmm. I'm Joan. Joan, huh? No last name or anything? <laughs> it's Joan Kaguya Dark. Well then, Miss Joan, here's some advice. Next time you draw that blade on someone, you sure as hell better mean it. Because on this star, there's no second chances. <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. I serve under Nobunaga, Mitsuhide Akechi. <laughs> and I'm the great Hideyoshi Toyotomi. I'm sure you're wondering how a little turd like me got into Odin. Master Da Vinci, here on the Eastern Star, Not between our stars can only be conducted in the port of Takamagahara. So if not trade, then what here interests you? Hmm. I would love to discuss my visit. However, I think it wise that we consider a change in our location post-haste, gentlemen. They are likely to send reinforcements, no? I've heard you've had some difficulty gathering war funds. Is that true, General Gupta? The wheat harvest fell short this season. Unfortunately, the dragon vein over the granary waned much earlier than in previous years. Likewise in my territory. We should not sit idly by. An expedition to the Eastern Star is in order. No, General Hannibal. The dragons of the East and West are in discord during this time of year. Sending a fleet of sizable presents risks incurring their fury. The dragon of the Eastern Star has awoken. <gasps> a dragon? What is the meaning of this? Incoming message. Admiral Magellan orbiting the Eastern Star report. I, I regret to report that two giant battle armors sent to pursue Da Vinci have been destroyed. His current whereabouts are unknown. You have my deepest apologies. <laughs> Is this potentially related to the Dragon's Awakening? There's no supporting evidence, but I think so. I was under the impression that Da Vinci's new armor was not yet operational. Stealing away to the Eastern Star, what could such a move suggest? We must stop him at once. I propose that I, Gaius Julius Caesar, pursue him post-haste. As we all know, Maestro Da Vinci is the leading expert on giant battle armor. His knowledge is invaluable to us. But if he betrays us and defects to the Eastern Star, then it could create naught but strife for us in the future. Since we have heard the General's proposal, are there any objecting opinions on the matter? Then let's entrust General Caesar with the task of apprehending Da Vinci. May your mission be fruitful. Majesty, it will be my pleasure. Comrades of the round who have gathered here today in Camelot. With our power we shall manifest the holy world. And, and thus achieve perfect, perfect harmony. I'm leaving quadrant 15 in your hands. All right, Brutus? I'm off to the Eastern Star after Da Vinci. Understood. <sighs> no sense in hiding. I'm sure you've heard the plan. All right now, it's finally time. Ready? Time for us to kiss this dusty old star goodbye. Right, Bianchi? <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> As they say, all rivers lead to Oda. 
fortuitous that this trailer is still functional after the impact. At this rate, we'll be able to reach Owari Castle before sunset, just in time for Lord Nobukatsu's ceremony. Lovely. Good thing I went through all that crap to avoid it. Huh? Going somewhere? Cargo, I want to take a look at the battle armor. Or like a w- Did it turn that color because you ate some gold or something? Rumor has it the Western Star is swimming in that stuff. Come on, hook a bro up, will ya? No! Oh, oh man, hope those boobs are real too! Huh? <laughs> you let me inspect them, right? <laughs> The Western Star's giant battle armor is more advanced than I ever expected. Hmm. Damn! That really stings! That dame really knows how to pack a punch! Hey, what happened to Nobu? It would seem that you just missed him. Seriously? That sucks. Uh, so, like, is this thing a bitch to drive or what? A bitch? Why heavens, no! I could teach you the controls if that tickles your fancy. Think they're weird, huh? Actually, not at all. Winged horses on my star look exactly the same as yours. You don't say. This one's mine. He's called Onikage. So then, what's so important that you had to come here? I heard the voice speak. I must follow my fate. Huh. Sounds like a load of crap. You're wrong! Who does this voice even belong to? Some chump tells you to jump through a hoop and you chalk it up to some magical fate BS without a second thought? It's not like that! There's no other choice! If I don't do something, disaster will befall the Western Star! Disaster? Like what kind of disaster? Well, I... I don't really know yet. Hmm. Sounds like somebody's got their head in the clouds. <sighs> so, you cooked up some genius plan to confirm this fate of yours? Well, uh, the Savior King will... Huh? Nobunaga, I have something to... But more importantly, that battle armor needs a cool name. Awesome to you, but everyone on the star thinks I'm just some bungling idiot. So, Joan, you got a cool name for that kind of guy on the Western huh? Star? An idiot? Like a jester? They really call him that? Surely not. I suppose they would be the fool. The fool, huh? Now that is smooth. So from here on out, I'm calling this new armor the fool. Pardon the interruption. Hey, what's up, Mitsu? I just christened that battle armor with a badass new name. From here yeah, on out... We need to talk about that armor. <laughs> what do you think of it, honestly? Huh? What the heck do you mean? Such weapons were made for use in war. Giant battle armor was created strictly with war in mind. They can cause destruction mm. far greater than any man. What if we are to unleash a force that must not be freed? And what if that force plunges our world into a living hell? Hell, huh? Sounds like fun! I'll be the Demon King, devourer of souls! <laughs> You're really getting into this, aren't you? And what's my job then? Fanning the flames of hell? <laughs> or maybe torturing the damned? Skin. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what a powerful bond you two must share. What's up, Da Vinci? Wait, if you're here, who's piloting? Master Hideyoshi has been charged with that task. Hideyoshi? Indeed. He proved himself to be quite the quick learner. Sounds dangerous to me. Are you sure? Ha! 
You know how Monkey always flips his lid over this kind of stuff. And what are your thoughts, Master Nobunaga? On what? Machines? Yeah, they're cool. Well, if that's the case, take this. Uh, what is this? It is known as a watch. While many variants of this device exist, this particular watch is a custom one personally designed by me. Please accept it as a token of our new friendship. Huh. Such an intricate design. Furthermore, I would be most humbly honored if you would accept my giant battle armor as another gift. <laughs> While not a warrior, I will aid you in any way I can. Present me at your brother's banquet tonight, however you see fit. You don't mean that! What are you planning on getting out of this? <laughs> I seek the truth behind this universe. You're... Go ahead, be my guest. But you're not getting that armor back. It will be my pleasure and honor. Hold on, Nobu. If you return to Oda with a Westerner as a new recruit, then surely Lord Nobuhide and his retainers will throw a fit. So what? Like I give a crap what those old farts think? Nobu, listen. Master Da Vinci isn't the only problem. We have to figure out what to do with Lady Joan as well. I'm a problem? You are. What? Are you gonna tell them your new retainer is a woman? If they can't handle the truth, that's their what problem, What about Princess right? Ichi? As your sister, don't you think she has enough controversy to deal with without someone like Lady Joan at your side? Ichi. You really think Ichi would care? So from here on out, you're a man. Your name's Ron Maru. R Ron Maru? Because you smell like orchids, and we call them Ron. Uh, I just thought of a delicious way to spice up Nobukatsu's serum. Uh, a man? Congratulations on your coming of age. Congratulations, Lord! Brother. Noble Katsu? Yes? What is it, Father? From this day forward, it will become your solemn duty to serve the Oda clan as a man. And as for that brother of yours, forget him. Dad, I'm back! Son of Fork got wiped out! Nobunaga, this is the way you return to our court? Takeda's on the move. He butchered the men at Sano Fort with a squad of giant battle armor. Shingen attacked? Send out a group of scouts immediately! Report back quick. Find out where they're going. Congrats on the coming of age thing. Now think fast! Uh, uh, thank you. What is it? It's called a watch. It's a special device used on the West. I was able to witness firsthand how Takeda fights his battles. All I gotta say is this, Oda doesn't stand a chance against Takeda. No, not just him. At this rate, we won't be Uesugi or Mori either. Then what should we do, dear son? <laughs> what is that rumbling? <laughs> yeah! Are you watching? I'm gonna show you the future of combat! Ichi! Yep! 
I sure got a big one. Oh, a true beauty. Why, she must be Aphrodite in disguise. And then they know. Who's that girl? Nobu. I mean, Nobunaga's younger sister, Princess Ichi. His sister. The answer you seek, Mademoiselle, is right here. hands on a giant battle armor. I'm concerned about the movement we've seen over Nowari, but still. This may be an excellent opportunity to evaluate this foolish Oda lad I've heard so much about. Well, I have a giant battle armor of my own, and if this little upstart wants a fight, then my fur and Kazan shall deliver it. All right, men! Prepare for battle! That was all the information for the Western Star is on the verge of being unified under one ruler. King Arthur, what an unsettling man. Lord Nobuhide, I strongly advise that we reprimand Lord Nobunaga for his careless behavior. To think he had the gall to invite Western Star barbarians to the palace, and to do it during Lord Nobukatsu's coming of age ceremony, no less. Lord Nobuhide, mm. allow me to make a suggestion. Would it not be wise to welcome Master Da Vinci as a strategist for the Oda clan? I believe it would be prudent to prioritize absorbing his Western Star knowledge and technology in order to further the Oda clan's development. In reality, our Awari camps are falling behind those of the Takeda clan, not to mention others. To fix our current predicament, I believe a breath of fresh air is in order. Lord Nobuhide, your decision? again. All right, boobs, you stay there and behave. What a view! <laughs> I can see everything! <laughs> Just how I like it. Not a single good ya. Nobunaga! Hmm? <laughs> hey! Well, I'll be damned if you don't look half bad in that get-up, Joan. Or Ron Maru. Wasn't there an important war meeting today? Oh, I don't know. That shit's pretty boring, so I let Mitsu handle it. Huh? What do you mean, pretty boring? Sitting around with a bunch of old farts isn't my thing. I'd be better off burning my eyeballs out staring at the sun with this telescope here. <sighs> You're something else. And it always ends the same. Haste makes waste, as they say. I believe it would be premature of us to adopt knowledge from some western star foreigner who we know absolutely nothing about. Takeda's army could strike at any moment. Your unwillingness to act may lead the Oda clan to destruction. Watch your tongue, Mitsuhide. Our clan is strong enough to stand on its own. Opening our gates to barbarians can only spell trouble. Furthermore, we can't trust them. They may be spies sent by Takeda. In which case, I will take responsibility. Responsibility? Just who do you think you are? Lord Nobuhide, you needn't waste your time listening to this nonsense. There's no telling what disaster the foreigners will bring upon us. There is no need for hasty reform. The Oda clan's son shall rise as Lord Nobukatsu matures. I guess I should have seen that coming. You are the Lord's oldest son, aren't you? At least try a little harder to... Uh. Isn't that your father? Nope, he's my Lord. Always Lord first, and then my pops. Oh yeah, speaking of things that go pop, you've done a really good job... ...of keeping your tits in place. Uh, what? Why, you... 
no Torfune. How long have I waited for this day to come? Oh, my dear fool, surely you've blossomed into a shining example of manhood. Hmm? What's wrong? It's nothing. Oh, so how did the war meeting go? <sighs> we work on you like that. It's fine. Besides, being on the losing side doesn't suit you. You sure know what to say to make your lord happy. I'm sure this new era of ours will work itself out. So I'm gonna go have some fun in the meantime. Now wait a minute! Huh? You're not just gonna go off and play with your battle armor, are you? After dumping all this work on Mitsuhide? You're supposed to be leader, not some spoiled child. Don't say that, Ranmaru. It's fine, me too. The way I see it, life's too short to trifle with every little detail. Huh? Besides, you'll never find a way to conquer the world if you get caught up in the routine. <laughs> Hello. Uh. Mm. <sighs> Aside from Mitsuhide and Hideyoshi, I've never known anyone to speak so openly with my brother. I must admit, I am a bit jealous. That's amazing! Uh, hardly. The target was designed for me to hit. If I were to aim at those birds, for example, I would miss. Even if I had the skill, I still don't think I'd have the resolve to take their lives. I never thought of it that way. Brother is different. He has the resolve to face anything and still push forward. Do you know that you- Old Ranmaru, aren't you? Might I ask a favor of you, man to man? Oh, oh yeah, man to man, of course! It's easy for people to misunderstand my brother. But if you spend some time with him, I'm certain you will see he is a man of good character. You think so? But until you come to realize that, please look after my brother's best interests. Huh? Uh, no, don't do that, please! Uh, 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 all right, all right, I'll look after him. Just get up off the ground, would you? Thank you, Ron Maru. Remember, I'm counting on you. Is there something troubling you? Compared to everywhere else, the chest plate's way too thin. And if I had to pick a spot most likely to get skewered during battle, the chest would be it. Yes, that's quite astute. However, to compensate for that weak spot, we may require the assistance of sacred treasure. Sacred, huh? What's up, Mitsu? Takeda's coming. His troops were sighted. Oh, for real? Boarding your performance chairs. Armor shell. Lock down the sequence. All units activate. Performance system circuit link. Battle armor, armor control online. Advance. Battle armor battle armor. Advance. Shift towards their left leg. Gunner support 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 team with between our forces and the enemy. I'm afraid your battle armor will be inoperable for the time being due to maintenance. Then I'll just go without the damn thing. Takeda's army is attacking. <clears throat> How could this happen? I knew it was a mistake to invite these barbarians to our land. Now is scarcely the time to be pointing fingers, wouldn't you agree? Lord Nobukatsu. We must protect the castle. Make certain that the women and children are out of harm's way. Hurry. Move it, asshole! Oh! Try to plan ahead. 
Pace yourself a bit next time. In a battle of men, you have to commit everything you have. I'm sorry, but it's no place for a lady like you. I am not a lady. You said it yourself, you bastard. From now on, I'm Ron Maru. And as long as I'm on the battlefield, you must treat me like a man. Oh yeah? You got some spunk, bro. <laughs> if that's how you feel, then you better keep up. Let's go, Onikage! Yeah, we'll see about that, won't we? My destiny is to save the lives of all those in the Western Star. Of all stars. A maiden foresees the destruction. Come what may, I am the world. I can bequeath a future unto people and stars alike. Now tell me, Da Vinci. What is your next card? What are you doing? He's but a single soldier! That carelessness is gonna cost you your life! He is the very face of valor! Without a doubt, Lord Nobunaga is a natural-born genius when it comes to warfare! We mustn't let the young lord do all the fighting, men! Looks like our side is ready to give it another go. is accurate. No, no, good shooting. It's thanks to your superb skill that it hit its mark. Lord Noble, I got him warmed up for ya. Yeah! It's about time, monkey! Now then, it's time to kick some ass! <laughs> Look who it is! Rampaging. That does not sound good! I think I see why now. 
That Rurik Khan has the strength to shake the heavens. True power stands on its own. Only when you've achieved strength so great and is set apart from all else can you call yourself fit to rule in this land. Oh, I get it. So I've just got to get stronger than you are. That flame is coming from a sacred treasure. Make haste! We must reach them immediately! We can't go any faster! This is not good. Sway talisman, sway talisman, chime the bells and set us free. Spirits of the beseech you now, please listen to our plea. We're listening, gods, we're listening. Whoa, what's up with the sky? No, stay in the water room! Say what? treasure's power. And also, for the exchange to be made, the Oda clan must secure a bond of partnership with my Yamatai nation. A bond of partnership? <laughs> That's how it goes. All right, I accept both your conditions. Let this be a symbol of our communion. So this is the treasure? All right, now what? Hold the sacred treasure before you and swear to the heavens and earth. Shout out! I swear on my name, Nobunaga Oda! Oh, heaven and earth, I swear on my name, Nobunaga Oda! I hereby take Queen Himiko of the Yamatai! I hereby take Queen Himiko of the Yamatai! To be my wife as long as we live! To be my wife so long as we live! What? His wife! Pleasure to make your acquaintance, dear treasure. Sacred treasures. Those were Takedas and Odas. I hope they all 
get covered in bright red blood till they're all sticky. Mmm, -hmm. sounds tasty. Bon appetit. Now, come along, it's time to descend. Their sacred treasures and elegant ladies await below. To the land of fascination! So, you brought the mighty fairy Kazan to its knees, have you, boy? <laughs> you may be a fool, as they say, but you are a mighty fool for certain. Answer me this! What is it that lies at the end of this path you follow? <laughs> there is no end! is the eternal and leads from this world straight up to the heavens. This is beyond anything I'd imagined. The strength of this man's heart is amazing. <laughs> for things to come. Why did he pull back? He won. Splendid! Positively splendid! I always knew you could do it! That sacred treasure's meant for you! You'll win next time. Ooh-wee! So, this is the Amano Torifune I've heard so much about. What's the damage like if I want to order one for myself? This ship's been handed down for several generations, but sadly, it's currently impossible for us to make another. Still, it's a sweet ride. So where are we headed now? We're still going to the Oda Castle, right? I sincerely hope it's not your intent- Of course not. This ship's path defaults to the Dragon Fang currents. While it's not the most direct route, our final destination is certainly set for Awari Castle. Such is the technology for Eastern Star residents and the unruly Dragon Veins. Pardon, but where's Nobunaga? Last time I saw him was out there. Out where? Hey, hold up. Isn't that out on the deck? Tea time, huh? Almost ready. <laughs> Here. In love or war, a wife's got to support her husband. Right, sweet tea? <sighs> That's nuts. You really think Lord Nobu's gonna marry the Queen of Yamatai? I wonder... A new battle armor from the Western Star along with Yamatai's Queen. Either Nobu's been on quite the lucky streak lately, or they're drawn to his potential. What is all this wedding talk I've been hearing about? My lord, it's true. Lord Nobunaga plans to marry Queen Himiko of the Yamatai clan. In exchange for her sacred treasure, the two of them agreed to exchange vows. Even as just a political move, this marriage will prove greatly beneficial to our nation. If we have the added power of the Yamatai, surely other nations will think twice before invading. What a surprise! Come on, don't you lazy cowards get tired of spewing the same old crap day after day? Lord Nobunaga, I thought we agreed to let me handle this matter. You think other nations won't invade us? Strengthen our defenses! Don't be stupid! How about I sneak over to Takeda's in my battle armor with Yamatai's forces, catch him with his pants down, and crush his castle? That's nonsense! Why? Do you truly believe you could storm his castle with just one battle armor? With you gone, he could use that opportunity to ambush our castle and kill all of our men! Then what's your great plan? 
We've already taken action. An order for 300 new battle armor units has been placed with Takamagahara. But until those battle armors arrive, we'll have to stand with the Yamatai and focus on defense. Takeda and Uesugi aren't the only threat. The Western Star's on the move, too. What are you gonna do if a whole army of giant battle armor shows up, huh? Trust me, you don't have time to sit on your ass! A leader cannot rule a nation based on speculation alone. What? You think I'm pulling this stuff out of my ass here? At this point, our greatest asset may very well be our alliance with the Yamatai. In order to spread that message to as many nations as possible, we should hold Lord Nobunaga and Queen Himiko's wedding ceremony as soon as possible. Ugh! Mitsuhide, eloquent though they may be, Agas. Are our efforts worth nothing? Must every little action revolve around the young lord? That was not my implication. If you object to the marriage, might I suggest an alternative? Rather than a wedding, why not start with an engagement ceremony? Back home on our star, the engagement is known as the cooling off period. Think of it as a sort of trial. Uh, what? First, the Western Star's giant battle armor, and now an alliance with the Yamatai? Perhaps we were the fools for underestimating him. Perhaps. But if Lord Nobunaga were no longer with us, then of course Queen Himiko would have to marry... Lord Nobukatsu. <laughs> huh? Oh. Engaged?! What mockery is this?! Why are we getting married?! I would never agree to such nonsense! <laughs> so, what the hell did you call me out here for? Is this some western way to try to get in my pants? Uh, do you have to be so lewd? <laughs> All I want from you is a proper lesson in the eastern ways of the sword. Then maybe I'll know for sure if you're truly the savior king. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you're swinging too high. That sword's dragging you around. <laughs> Be the one in control! Now it's time to see if heaven really guided me to the truth. Otherwise, what was the whole point of dragging myself out to this star? my time here if you're distracted. It's like I couldn't do anything. Huh? I just stood there like I was frozen while the village in the forest burned. That was all because of me. That had nothing to do with you. But I... How are you going to kill the enemy with that mindset? In case you haven't noticed, this whole planet's at war. The only way to survive is to create your own destiny. <laughs> The whole point of the sword is to sever your hesitation. My... my... Hey, sweetie! <laughs> What's all this nonsense I'm hearing about engage? <laughs> so who's your friend with the hay for hair? Hurry. That's your name, is it? <laughs> may I, uh, help you? Pardon me! women snipping around here. You can take your tacky wig and hit the road. <laughs> wow, so even the Queen of Yamatai gets jealous, huh? I would hardly call it jealousy. I'm simply trying to keep this pervert's filthy hands from defiling my hubby's sacred jewels. Pervert? If you've got another term for cross-dressing women seducing people's fiancés, I'd love to hear Th it. That's not... Look, there's a reason for this. Keep it quiet for now. Oh, yeah? I still don't like the idea of this hussy hanging around you all the time, but who doesn't like being in on a secret? Here's the deal. You're free to stay, but absolutely no touching. I know you Western barbarians carry diseases. <laughs> what a rude thing to say! I've heard that people on the Western Star are cannibals as well! That's a lie! I heard your necks stretch out at night, and you drink oil from street lanterns! Oh, how cute! You can't tell fairy tales from reality! No one Naga! It's designed to propel itself using a set of metal springs. Alas, I... But if there exists a material of similar strength, perhaps I could use it. If you use something too rigid, it's just gonna snap. It can't just be strong, it also has to be flexible. 
What do you think of this? My, my, how wonderful. I am continuously surprised by both the talent and knowledge of you and your craftsmen, Signorina Hiraga. With your contribution, I will undoubtedly be able to produce a new battle armor in the near future. <sighs> Master Da Vinci, a question. Aside from Lord Nobu, can anyone else operate the Fool? One cannot say for sure. Our worlds are deeply influenced by the Dragon Veins in countless mysterious ways. But it likely played a hand in why this unit accepted Lord Nobunaga. So no mere coincidence then. Interesting. Then hook me up with one! I want mine to be gold and shiny and badass! I shall certainly consider it. Master Da Vinci, would you mind sharing your thoughts with me regarding Nobu... I mean, Lord Nobunaga? Questions linger that I would like answered. Is Lord Nobunaga the golden dragon that will bring unity to heaven and earth? Or is he simply an opulently dressed papier-mâché clown? Sir Mitsuhide, it's a discreet way to investigate the unseen world. These symbols help illuminate that darkness. What, are you scared, Mitsu? What could go wrong, huh? Hey, what cares? It appears the time has not yet come for you to draw from them. Now then. What's this? That card is the magician, but reversed. He is a figure who has mastered earth, water, fire, and wind, a symbol of action and miracles made reality, as if by magic. In reverse, he is a figure of latent talents, doubt, and unfulfilled potential. This refers to Nobu? Oh, by the way, Signore. In regards to the upcoming engagement ceremony, there are a few things I wish to discuss with you. is as hard as a rock. The straw mattress smells like a barn. Plus, it's too close to the ground. <sighs> Not to mention these pajamas. <sighs> there we go. Better already. Got a problem? Please don't go on that bridge! It's gonna collapse! Huh? She's being creepy again! Let's ditch the weirdo! <laughs> <laughs> our ways of life differ greatly from yours. If there's anything I can do to ease your stay, please let me know. Thanks, I appreciate it. Sorry, to those of you from the Western Star, how do you perceive my older brother? Ugh. You really want my honest opinion? Of course. <sighs> He's the most selfish, arrogant, reckless man I've ever met! That idiot doesn't give a crap about other people's feelings ever! He's just a stupid blackhead! Oh my. <laughs> Since he was little, my brother's always been a mischief maker. Your negative impression may not be entirely false. And I see that he has wrapped you up in a game of pretend. Uh, who? Me? Does it ever make you sad? Having someone so out of control as your older brother? Why would you think something like that would make me feel sad? Huh? The only sad thing is that the world cannot see my brother for the man he truly is. The man he truly is? Welcome home, brother. I'm glad you're back. Hmm? 
Impressive marksmanship, as always. You never let your targets suffer before they die. By the way, I must congratulate you on your engagement. Well, it's nothing to be excited about. Hmm? I just agreed to it for the sake of Hungry? No, thank you. I'm fine. I've always been envious of you. Huh? I wish I had the courage to live free and follow my heart like you do, brother. But I'm frozen with doubt, worried about what others will think. Crushed by the weight of their expectations. Unable to lift even my own head. Don't be stupid! <laughs> but it's true. Your life belongs to you and no one else. What the hell's the point of living if you can't do it how you want? You can't just sit around waiting till you're dead! You're right. I just wish I had that same conviction and bravery as you. something so frivolous back in Kai. Perhaps not, but their technology seems to be outpacing ours. to take the stage. <laughs> My throat's all dried out now. Then let me take over. All right, everyone. Feast your eyes as the Queen of Yamatai takes center stage. Is that a wedding dress? Why is she wearing Western-style clothes? I believe that the phrase is, go with the flow. I can only hope that this occasion helps Nobunaga settle down at least somewhat. Up next is our local hero, the one. Remember what? 
I don't get it. Never mind for now. We can talk about it later. So, you're telling me this is how people show their love on your star? How would I know? <laughs> don't forget, you still have one remaining announcement.
Western Star is even more beautiful up close. Those old fools are wasting their time over there. They should stop looming over the round table like buzzards and see this place for themselves. It is quite the sight to behold. A diamond in the rough, one might say. As for that man Da Vinci, his coming here shows rather impressive foresight. treasure within it. This must be done, and soon. You have the Council of Vassal's full support on the matter. We must do away with the fool. If I may... Noble Katsu, armor alone cannot bring about victory. It's going to take more than that to impress upon the Vassal's that you are a strong leader. A lord's true character is brought to question under times such as this. Nobunaga, you currently lack all of the qualities needed to make a suitable leader. If we just sit on our asses, Takeda will take the advantage. Then I ask you, could you defeat all of Takeda's forces with only one battle armor, no matter how great? Could you defeat them single-handedly? Hell yeah, I can beat those punks. I don't care how many there are. Brother! You have much to learn. As they say... If you know neither the enemy nor yourself, you will succumb in every battle. <sighs> that stubborn old bastard can suck it. Show a little more respect. If you continue to butt heads with your father like that, your name will be as good as mud. Or worse, those who conspire to make Lord Nobukatsu the heir may come after you in earnest. You know what? I'd love to see if someone in this castle had the guts to try it. I can't stand these sniveling pussies. <laughs> The Queen Himiko of the Yamatai, to be my wife so long as we live. <sighs> One more time. So, Lord Nobuhide wasn't keen on the idea? Apparently not. That sucks. We raised so much money with the engagement party, too. So what should we do now? There's only one thing to do. After all, there's no telling when Takeda will evade again. That's why we gotta keep up our ma... Manu... What did he call him? Manutenzion. Yeah, that thing. Or maintenance, as we barbarians call it. Anyway, when Takeda does show up, all I gotta do is save the day with this armor here, and the vassals will finally stop their bitching and moaning. Yeah! We'll hit Takeda back twice as hard! Right, I owe him one. I'm gonna wreck that red hunk of junk. Lord Nobunaga! Hmm? Princess Ichi is calling for you. Huh? Don't worry, Ichi. You ask for the impossible. You're pitting yourself against a man with incredible talent who has spared you once through the day. I'm sorry. I spoke out of line. Are you all right? Can't friggin' remember how to activate this stupid thing. Oh! <laughs> it's been a good while since our ceremony, but Darling has been giving all of his attention to that battle armor. Why, he hasn't even given me the time of day! The whole point of that stupid ceremony was that it would bring the two of us closer together! Instead it's all boring walks and lonely baths and nothing like I had hoped! What does that woman have that I don't? What in the world could I possibly be lacking?
And why isn't my dear fiancé visiting me personally? I am afraid he had pressing matters, which is why I was asked to come in his stead. Pressing matters? What could possibly be more important than his soon-to-be wife? I believe he must make arrangements in the event of an enemy assault. Is that so? My brother has always been the type to give his full attention to whatever grabs his interest at the time. When we were children, he would become distracted and leave me alone in the mountains. The mountains? Really? Indeed. However, my brother was also the first one to come back for me. What a story. Before I forget, what did the Lord need? My brother asked me if I would come speak to you on his behalf about the best way in which we might activate this sacred treasure. Nice try! I shall teach him the proper method in person. It is my duty as his fiancé to assist him myself. <laughs> Your help is greatly appreciated. bond with the sacred treasure has been forged. Henceforth, the sacred treasure should respond to your every command. That's how it goes! My dear, why does your heart hesitate so? The voice of God is ever fleeting. His words oft come without warning. But then again, Perhaps one simply needs the tools to listen. Here. The reverse tower? It is a sign of turbulence. And in reverse, this card is indicative of conceit or God's wrath. said that there are two sides to the nature of God. How so? We know him as the Lord of all creation, but his power of destruction is absolute as well. Two polar opposites. Which one is he? As for us, perhaps it is our destiny to confirm which is his calling. Creation or destruction? Time is now. Let's go! Prepare the fool for battle! I gotta move. Bring me my sake already! Wait! You're not going anywhere, boy. Your coward ass would be a waste of my time. What are you talking about? What's all this about? The young lord is up to no good again. Ignore them! Move out! Taka the spy has managed to infiltrate the castle? I bring terrible news! Takeda's forces are attacking us! What? There you have it, just as Lord Nobunaga said. No! He told you this would happen and you did nothing! 
Something else is certainly at work here. <clears throat> Look after Nobunaga. Sir. Ishii. Yes. Understood. I'm going to battle! Bring my armor, Marashaitan! On the verge of spring, the ice will melt away. Now the image of myself reflects on water. Listen, Ichi. You must put your faith in Nobunaga no matter what the circumstance. Yes, sir. Father, let me go to battle with you. No. With your brother bedridden, you must stay here to protect the castle. Understood? Yes, understood. All troops march to battle, men! The other army is advancing. So Nobunaga the Fool has finally decided to make his move. No, his father, Lord Nobuhide, is leading the troops. What? I'm going in, men. My name is Nobuhide Oda. Prepare to face me. You are Lord Shingen? Good. I wish to challenge you to a duel. Hey there, Nobuhide. I hope you don't expect me to go easy on you just because that's an antique. It'll cause the vassals to rally against you. <laughs> huh? <sighs> <laughs> Hold on. You poisoned me, didn't you? A plot to use the war as a cover for your assassination was underway. Keep talking. So I came up with this plan in order to restore your honor and bring that scheme to an end. <laughs> well... I think I've sat around on my ass for long enough. See ya. I'd stay put a while. When the castle appears to truly be in danger, you and the fool will charge in and turn the tides. That will give the vassals something to remember. Mm. Once you've won the war for them, everyone will have to take you more seriously, including Lord Nobuhide. Obviously, you put a lot more thought into this than I did. By the sound of it, now might be a good time to get going after all. I suppose so. Monkey! Hey! You don't get to call me monkey! Is it ready? You bet your ass! Master Da Vinci. A sign of 
have turbulence. I hope I'm just being paranoid. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! Huh? Who goes there? I am Gaius Julius Caesar, a member of King Arthur's Round Table. For reasons you need not concern yourself with, I will be assisting Takeda. King Arthur sent you, you say? The Western Star sent a giant battle armor? But why? Comrade General Caesar of the Round Table. <sighs> so the almighty Takeda is getting help from foreigners, huh? I think I have this situation under control. You can sit back and watch. I think you'll change your mind once you see what I can do. No move! I hadn't planned for this. Hideyoshi, I'm heading out. Please load up my battle armor and have it ready for me. Get on it! Defense on the southeast is weak. Incoming concentrated enemy fire. Hurry with the barrage! He will pay. 
pay. I swear he will pay. Amidst their battle with the Takeda clan, a sacred treasure wielder from the Western Star named Julius Caesar suddenly appeared. Although Nobunaga was able to contend with Takeda, his father, Lord Nobuhide, fell to Caesar. From an outside perspective, this was a prime opportunity for warlords to invade the Oda clan's territory. From within the clan itself, this event is what fanned the flames between the Nobunaga and Nobukatsu factions, who were already at each other's throats. Beset with troubles both near and far, Nobuhide's death brought the Oda clan to a turning point, as well as the most dire crisis they had ever faced. Wait here and observe the battle for a while. When the castle appears to truly be in danger, you and the fool will charge in and turn the tides. That will give the vassals something to remember. <sighs> Hideyoshi. Sup? Lord Nobuhide. I hate to let you down, but I'm afraid this is all I can do for you right now. For what it's worth, I'll continue to look after Lord Nobu till the day I die. <sighs> Come on, man. What's with the long face? It's not like this big mess was your fault. That Western Star dude came out of nowhere. That's like blaming yourself for the weather. Me too. Me, you, and Nobu are supposed to change the world, remember? <sighs> Father said to give this to Nobunaga? The symbol of our family's leadership. Lord Nobunaga is nowhere to be found? What will happen to the arrangements we made for Lord Nobuhide's funeral? Curse him! Even at a time like this, he's ever the fool! Mitsuhide, do you know where Nobunaga is? I don't. Uh, he isn't in the workshop? Don't bother looking. Uh, Never mind the people in the castle throwing a fit. We'll be fine. You're sure? Nobu will come back. He simply needs some time to himself. Uh, For now, all that we can do is wait. I ask that you do so calmly, and that's for your sake as well. Mitsuhide... See you. Take care. What the blazes is that fool thinking with this disappearing act? What indeed? Can he not be bothered to honor his own father in life or death? Nobukatsu, it pains me to ask this, but please take your brother's place as the chief of the funeral service. We can wait. I know he'll return. If it was his intention to come, he would be here already. If the eldest son is not present, it is the second eldest son's duty to serve as his representative. If we delay this service any further, it will dishonor your father. Please proceed. The dishonor would be continuing this without our next lord. We must be patient. It is only because our next lord values honor so little that we have found ourselves here. Nonsense. You said enough, Mitsuhide. I cannot bear for Lord Nobuhide to see his clan divided and bickering with one another when we should be honoring his memory. Please, Lord Nobukatsu. Mm. Lord Nobuhide would want you to carry on in your brother's absence. He had faith in you as a leader. I beg you, my lord. You must decide this for yourself, Nobukatsu. I see. But I serve only in my brother's place. <sighs> now
Now, if everyone is in consensus, Now then, I wish to commence the funeral for Lord of the Oda Clan, Nobuhide. Lord Nobunaga! Uh, please, my lord! Uh, th those clothes! Unbelievable! What is he thinking? Insolent behavior is an affront to the memory of your father. This will not go unpunished! Face me! I will put an end to you! against our lord. He is not worthy. How much of this must we tolerate? <laughs> seize him, men. I said seize Hayashi. Sorry, <sighs> I can show myself to prison. Proceed as planned. Father, I will always look back fondly on the tea ceremonies we held together under this cherry tree, and I will never forget the tales you told of foreign lands, or of my mother who passed away too soon. These memories are a treasure, but now they're all that's left. For some reason, I cannot bring myself to cry. Even a smile comes easier to me. Princess Ichi. I fear I put you in a difficult position back there. I hope you can forgive me. Of course. I blame myself. I hate to see Nobu resort to such behavior. It may be difficult, but I am relieved to know that you're always there to help shoulder the weight of his actions. Wild though he may be, I hope people can see the sincerity in his heart. <laughs> Father entrusted this symbol of his inheritance to me when the time is right. I see. Our land is on the verge of war. If the Oda clan cannot come together quickly, we will be crushed from outside. The vassals will likely say that Nobukatsu should be lord. But he's too kind. He cannot bear the weight of that role, especially in wartime. The court still needs time before it understands how Nobu thinks. Time we don't have. Only one thing is clear. Father's death came far too soon. Despite his acceptance of Nobu as his heir, if I presented the inheritance to him now, it would only give rise to yet another dispute. For what it's worth, I know that Nobu is the man who will conquer this star. Um, Mitsuhide. And I promise you, 
You'll find the right time to present it to him soon enough. I'm sure of it. Don't worry. In the meantime, I'll take care of everything else. wise to call off your engagement with Nobunaga? Just some friendly advice. If you can't comprehend the greatness of my darling's vision, that just shows how much growing you have to do. Growing, huh? I'm already big enough to step on you. Oh, how clever! How I'll miss your way! Hmm. Now I believe you were packing your bags, if I recall, until some pest interrupted me. Huh. Mm. We are living in a nation at war. To support those that we care for, we must possess great strength. To stay close to him, you must aspire to the same heights. Huh? Ah! A bit of parting wisdom. <sighs> oh my gosh! Could you get more condescending? Do you really think our clan can survive under him? My pride simply won't allow it. Fine, but the Takeda army may very well in come to an end if Lord Nobukatsu became our leader instead. Uh, Mitsuhide, uh, this is all Oda territory, as far as the eye can see. But you can't help but notice the scars of battle scattered across the land. The Takeda army will probably invade again before they can mend. Everything that my father fought for, I want to protect. I have lost a leader, and I have lost a loved one. This is a pain I want to save our people from suffering. To that end, the Oda clan must not waste its time bickering. Listen. Yes, Lord? Shibata said the vassals are going to hold a council of war tomorrow. This should come as no surprise, but he wants me to succeed as Lord while Brother is gone. Don't get the wrong idea. I don't want to go behind his back and steal his position as rightful heir. However... Most vassals are opposed to him becoming lord of the clan. In fact, there are a number who explicitly harbor ill will toward him. Foolish. But I believe I may have to indulge their wishes for the time being. First, I will become lord and rally the Oda clan. When things have settled, I will return leadership to my brother. Assuming that Nobu does not object and everything goes as planned, what initiative will you take? I'm afraid I don't have an answer yet. At the very least, I hope that everyone will cooperate and we can avoid war to the best of our capability. Avoid war? Is that even possible? Takeda, Oesugi, and countless other nations are poised to invade at any moment. What is your response to them? I only know that I must unite my own people first. I think that's the best way to protect my brother, my sister, and my clan. Everything else will come in good time. I had a feeling you'd be passing through here soon. Monsieur Da Vinci. Woe is me! Your faithful friend who stole a starship just for you tossed aside like yesterday's rubbish. I shall die as I have lived bitterly on love. You disapprove of his behavior? My feelings aren't the issue. If Nobunaga isn't the savior king after all, there simply is no reason for me to stay here. Logical enough. Then there is something you have come to understand about the young lord? Just the opposite. I don't understand a thing about that jerk. And I don't care to understand him either. In order to comprehend all perspectives, mademoiselle. For example, from this perspective, you appear to be no larger than my hand. I can measure it myself. However, from where you are standing, you know this assumption to be false, correct? I ask, is it my eyes that are deceiving me or my mind? Simply put, the position you choose can alter the truth as you see it. But fortunately, it can also reveal it. 
No, thank you. Now, now, don't be cross. Consider it a fond farewell to an old friend. Card. The beast, of course, is an image of great power. But the woman embracing the beast, she indicates that great power cannot sustain itself unless it has another strength to support it. I've had enough of you and these silly things. You can't manipulate me with some fortune-telling nonsense. I can find my own direction, thank you very much. Huh. Oh. Will you find your own way, or will you be pulled by the whims of the dragon vein vortexes? We're all counting on yes, sir. Now to wait for the results. Leader of our clan, they will not simply allow you to step down. I do believe that your intentions are pure, and that you hold this nation dear. If this was a different time, I believe you'd prove to be a wise lord. However, this is a land at war. It is a living hell that only a demon is fit to rule. Yes, it is a demon I serve, and I am no different. sad thing is that the world cannot see my brother for the man he truly is. If you can't comprehend the greatness of my darling's vision, that just shows how much growing you have to do. my darling. I fulfilled my duty. As your wife, I couldn't be happier. I see now. This is war. And this is love. <sighs> Take 
take care of him for me. and by the morning that search will expand toward the border. Pointless. By now they're already way out of our reach. It's all my fault. <sighs> Maybe if I weren't so worthless I could have saved him. Saved Dad, Himiko. They were all right. I'm a damn fool. Don't say that. still there. Mitsuhide? Why don't you go rest for a while? I'll stay here and watch over Lord Nobukatsu for you. No thanks. It's just one more night. Mitsuhide? Yes? How long will this go on? Will our lives always be entangled in war? A long time ago, Nobunaga said something that stuck with me. He said that he would be the one to put an end to this war. Right. So please, do whatever you can to help him. <sighs> you absolutely have my word. I've sworn to sacrifice everything, including my life, for Lord Nobunaga. Something wrong, Signorina. Here. I couldn't do anything. Are you 
not here simply to decide his merit as Savior King? Maybe if I had my own power, I could have saved Nobuhita and Nobukatsu, or at least done something to prevent this. Please wait. What you seek will not be found in here. In fact, I believe that you may have already found it. The number of times you blink the pitch of your voice, your stable hands and your upright poise, they are all indicators of your unfaltering resolve. Thank you for the tea. Sir Caesar, please explain the reasoning behind your slaying of Lord Nobuhide. We call it customer service. Since the Takata clan is a valuable partner, we make sure to take care of our clients. I question the integrity of your actions, showing up unannounced and killing my oldest enemy in an ambush. Strengthening the backbone of your nation, accumulating massive wealth, defeating the enemy, reigning supreme over everything. Lord Shingen, are those not your goals as ruler? In exchange for your wealth, we can sell you technology that will put your nation's military above all others. Quite simply, it's give and take. We've each got something the other side wants. <laughs> Grim and complicated business. It appears that you are better matched to battle with an abacus than a sword. <laughs> and unfortunately for you, I'm a stubborn old goat. I will not allow a guest to assist in our state affairs. Poor Caesar, check out the sad look on his face! If he keeps treating everyone in the world like an idiot, someone's going to call him out on it eventually. Soon, this entire land will be awash with the crimson blood of the samurai. I can't wait! You make it sound so scary! I mean, fun! <laughs> this was obviously the work of Takeda. Not only did we lose Lord Nobuhide, but Lord Nobukatsu as well! We must show those bastards the wrath of heaven! Vengeance will be ours! We will soon destroy them. Takeda isn't the only suspect. We must also consider the Imagawa and Uesaki clans. But they would have needed to travel great distances to come to Oari. They know well of our conflict with Takeda. Perhaps their purpose was to deepen the rift. It seems unlikely that the perpetrator has had enough time to get very far. Do you even have any evidence to bolster that assumption? Me too. What do you think? Me too! Well, I... Let me think. From a logical standpoint, I believe that our most likely suspect is Takeda. Great. That settles it. And would you like to share your thoughts with us? I'm gonna go have a little talk with our pal Shingen and find out who's our killer. You what? Surely not. Have you lost your mind? Hell if I know. Apparently I'm the biggest fool on this star. My lord, please stop joking around. If the meeting sours, you may start a war. At best, you may lose your head. Don't get the wrong idea. I'm not going there to fight anyone. I'm just going to talk. Wow, monkey, I'm impressed. Where'd you find the brains to pilot a ship like this, huh? Yeah, right? I just asked the lovely ladies here to help me out. Cost me a pretty penny, though. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Should settle things here. The hero fact. He who bestows hidden knowledge. But what could be the implication of this card? Perhaps Shingen is the teacher and Nobunaga is the pupil. Such a grave dinner sounds somewhat entertaining. Get ready! The fool is moving out! Good luck out there, boss. Okay, let's 
see how Shingen likes my little visit. Hmm? Ranmaru, stop hiding. How do you know I was here? Because you smell like orchids and you're like one foot away from me. You hungry? No, it's fine. So, what were you hoping to achieve by coming? Well, I... Never mind. Pleasure to have you, Sir Nobunaga. Same to you. It's a great honor that you would accept me like this. How mad does one have to be to simply waltz into his enemy's camp? Golden hair? That a woman? Why don't we just cut to the chase and tell me why you're here? I wanted to ask you something. Oh? By any chance, did you happen to send assassins to kill my younger brother, Nobukatsu, and I? Hmm. Silence! Are you insane? Please, tell me your answer. The Takeda clan has done no such thing. Hmm. I see. Let's go, Ranmaru. What? We're done here. Lord Shingen isn't the one that tried. Doesn't the look on his face pretty much say it all? He thinks he could crush Oda without spineless tactics. <laughs> I suspect that the vassals back in Oda are in an uproar about all this. I presume your visit was both to calm and unite them. Guess you saw right through me. As you know, babysitting vassals can be quite a tiring job. But are not those same men the walls of your castle, Lord Shingen? You know, you really got some nerve, kid, and I kind of like it. However, if I just let you walk out of here, it would really look bad for my reputation. Servant, bring me the sake! <laughs> and that's how it goes. We toast to fair play. To battle! Battle? Seriously? I thought you said you were just coming here to talk. Huh. You think after meeting such an impressive warrior, I'm just gonna go back home without having a little fun? Very my lord. You heard me. Sir. Dad's time to hand over his post to me! Oh, 
himself. That fool from Oda stabbed Lord Shingen in the back like a coward. Then ran like a dog. Nobunaga Oda must not be forgiven. I promise that I, Gaius Julius Caesar, will do everything within my power to avenge your lord. This is not time for warning. Friend who he's dealing with. Warriors were entangled in a perilous battle to the death. Only one emerged victorious, Nobunaga Oda of Owari. Having admitted defeat, Shingen sought to entrust the sacred treasures in his possession to Nobunaga in hopes of ensuring the future of the Eastern Star. However, due to General Caesar's intervention, only the sacred treasure of fire went to Nobunaga, while the sacred treasure of wind went to Caesar. The Oda have conquered one rival only to gain another. Nobunaga Oda has committed a most heinous treachery! Didn't do half bad. Never thought he'd win. <clears throat> yeah, right? He even got a, a sacred treasure. Don't worry, you're getting it back for us, right? <laughs> also, uh -huh. he can grab that princess, too. <laughs> Lord Caesar! What is it? Sir, we found a letter. It was amongst the belongings left behind by Lord Shingen. After conferring with the others, we decided you should see it, Lord Caesar. We're struggling to find a direction without our Lord. We hope that you will continue to support us in avenging his death. Well... Not only was stealing Takeda's castle a cinch, but you've also stolen the hearts of his vassals! Way to go, Caesar! <laughs> Takeda was merely the appetizer. Perhaps Uesugi is the next course. That can't be possible. You're telling me Nobunaga struck Lord Shingen down? Has this been confirmed? Yes, my lord. Some time ago, Queen Himiko of Yamatai gave Nobunaga a sacred treasure. It is rumored that his strength is continually on the rise. In an instant, I'm not sure if I should thank Nobunaga or not. There is another matter that is somewhat concerning, my lord. Go on. Even prior to his death, Lord Shingen began forming a close alliance with the Westerner known as Julius Caesar. We believe he was attempting to barter arms. Now with Lord Shingen gone, it appears they have unified their forces. Julius Caesar. So you're telling us you believe that Takeda wasn't responsible for the assassination of Lord Nobukatsu? Before our battle, Shingen and I had a manly heart-to-heart. -heart. When you look a warrior like him in the eyes, you know. He's not the type of guy that's gonna feed you a bunch of bullshit. Well, then who killed him? Some other nation probably thought that by forcing a succession, they would stir up some political chaos in the Oda castle. Then that would be their chance to wipe us out. Instead of all this bickering, we should focus our attention outward. Otherwise, we're creating the perfect setup for them to pounce. Oh. What my hubby states is true. Are you feeling all right? Hey, Himiko. Shouldn't you be in bed resting? After the sudden loss of Lord Nobuhide and Lord Nobukatsu, a heavy sadness those past events won't resolve our present situation. I've consulted my mystic crystal, and one thing is clear. You, no we as the Oda clan, must move forward. Our main concern now should be Caesar, who has occupied Takeda's castle. Unfortunately, the crystal was unable to reveal his motives. Before his death, Shingen entrusted me with his sacred treasure so I could conquer heaven and earth. So it sounds to me like there's only one thing for me to do. Go pay Caesar a visit and get back the sacred treasure. No matter what path you choose, sweetie, you'll have the full power of Yamatai behind you. <sighs> okay, but I need to think it over and come up with a good plan first. He's not the type of guy that'll go down easy. And despite all that, you shouldn't be pushing yourself so hard. I don't want you to get hurt anymore. Uh, 
I'll be fine, no need to worry. But more importantly... Get some rest. Leave all the war and bloodshed to me. <laughs> mm. All right, Caesar. What have you got? Me, Master Da Vinci. But what information can you give us about this Julius Caesar? Back on my home of the Western Star, there exists a round table of leaders headed by King Arthur. Julius Caesar is one of its members. Do you have any thoughts on his possible motives? Yeah, that's what I've been trying to figure out. First he shows up out of nowhere, stabbing people in the back. Then he sits down and acts like he runs the place. Haven't you Westerners heard of having a little honor, courage, and compassion during battle? Indeed, but in the West we refer to this as chivalry. And what does that include? Being a massive dick and killing people just because you feel like it? If you would like to hear my opinion... I believe that Caesar has come to this star to conduct an investigation under the orders of King Arthur. To investigate what? Sacred treasures? <sighs> that is my guess. The dragon veins on this star exhibit far more turbulence than those of the West. What he's likely investigating is how the sacred treasures react under these conditions. But it's not just the sacred treasure he's eyeing. Undoubtedly, he's assessing the value of the people wielding them as well. Well, can't blame him for checking me out. Considering that is the primary reason I travel to the Eastern Star, I imagine that Julius Caesar's intentions are the same. Anything else? In order to test the treasure armor, which is the only vessel we have found thus far that can activate the sacred treasure's energy. But the armor itself is not of much interest to me. Rather, I wanted to find the different types of power that the treasures release, as well as determine their cause. My current theory postulates that the sacred treasures draw their power from the quantum field of this world's dragon veins. Depending on the individual characteristics of each sacred treasure, as you can see, they manifest elemental powers such as fire, water, or gravity. But this is compounded with the factor of human will. Any choice or decision can interfere with the quantum, consequently strengthening or weakening the sacred treasure. In fact, these shifts in energy are strong enough to change the sacred treasure's basic properties. <sighs> After countless experiments and numerous battles, I have come to realize one particular conclusion. There is an undeniable, if ill-defined, correlation between the sacred treasure's power and the resolve of its wielder. So what you're saying is, the more awesome we are, the more powerful the sacred treasure gets? <sighs> you must have experienced this surge of strength firsthand during your battle with Lord Shingen, correct? Queen Himiko's sacred treasure, compounded by Nobunaga's growing potential. Earlier, didn't you say that King Arthur rules the Westerns? Indeed, that is correct. You think the boss man shares your thoughts on the sacred treasures? Regrettably, I have yet to gain permission to have an audience with King Arthur, so I can merely speculate on his true feelings on the topic. Nevertheless, I do feel confident that the King and I share the same beliefs in regard to sacred treasures. Considering the fact that he sent Caesar to confirm that the dragon veins of the Western Star are undergoing rapid decay proves as much. So far, you're only talking about investigating, but you think that means they want to steal our sacred treasures too? Well, I'm afraid I don't quite know the answer to that question. There is one thing I would like to point out, however. Whoever controls the sacred treasure stands to rule both our worlds. Ultimately, if these theories and observations hold any truth, King Arthur intends to assert his claim of the Eastern Star's dragon veins via the use of sacred treasures and their skillful wielders. So besides Caesar, we also have to worry about the Round Table members. And this King Arthur fellow? So if we want to do this, I need to have a little talk with Caesar and take back Shingen's sacred treasure too. Hey, Chief Hiraga, come here for a sec. They're the same. Don't tell me you're gonna storm between Caesar's soldiers and Takeda's army will be completely outnumbered. Uh, yeah, I guess so, huh? You got any better ideas? Are you asking me, Signore? Aren't Western tactics uncivilized? N Look, I was just joking, man. You guys have humor, right? <sighs> Wait a sec. There's an idea. Why don't we just bluff him? We can sneak over there and build the castle overnight in front of Takeda's army to totally freak him out! If that were even remotely feasible, we would have thought of that. It may seem far-fetched, but let's not dismiss it just yet.
Listen up. Me too. I'm leaving you in charge of planning all the details. Yes, sir. You know what to do, monkey. You can count on me, boss! Hey, what's up? You look all spaced out. Something wrong? Uh, no, I'm fine. Hey, guys, hold on! Don't leave me! Out. Does that mean that the Savior King, that Nobunaga is gonna die in battle? It's just a vision, but it felt so real. Nobunaga! Yeah, what's up? Do you really... It's the plan, right? Yeah, but... <sighs> Look, Joan, that's just how it goes. Sacred treasure of wind resting under blue skies. I pledge myself before Venus. Henceforth, let it be known that I am your new master. Now show me your power! Huh? Is he really bad at this or what? Poor Caesar doesn't look like the treasure wants to play. At least the sacred treasure of wind has good taste. Just as I thought, he must have done it then. I now hereby release you of our blood pact. From this day forth, Nobunaga Oda is your new master. I already knew that Nobunaga had the sacred treasure of fire, but he may have made a pact with the sacred treasure of wind as well. If I want to claim its power for myself, I'll have to force him to give up the pact. Once I master the wind, I'll lay claim to the other treasures. Should we tell King Arthur about this? I don't know. You wanna? I'd love to see him squirm. <laughs> ah, so it was a divine revelation. With their battle quickly approaching, I can't stop thinking about it. I keep wondering what it could mean. A divine revelation does not necessarily foretell a fixed future. Would it not be possible to change it depending on the strength of your resolve? <gasps> and should it hold true that change is possible, perhaps that vision was Heaven's subtle way of lighting your path. I still have no idea how I can help him. That card is the Ace of Wands in the upright position. This card signifies departing on a journey to achieve one's dream or ideals, or moving forward with great enthusiasm. The wand serves as both a weapon and as a staff to lean on when one grows weary. And if you are ever lost in the darkness, it can light the path to help you find your way. On your heart? Ah! Uh, I couldn't help but notice the dark cloud hovering over your head. <sighs> I'm not trying to be rude, but it appears as if you were caught between a wolf and a tiger. Huh? Who's the tiger? It's just an old saying we have here on the Eastern Star. It means one problem follows the next. Unfortunately, this phrase perfectly illustrates the frenzied state of the Oda clan. Nevertheless, I still believe in him. I know that my brother will do whatever it takes to pull us through this predicament. So all I ask is that you place your faith in my brother Nobu as well. <sighs> Princess Ichi stays so strong no matter what. So why am I always crippled with fear? So they've come. The show has begun at last! 
All units charge! I've confirmed the target of Caesar allied forces have deployed their army. Leading the charge is giant battle armor Quo Vadis. Activate the fool! After the drop, we'll begin jamming the Dragon Bane's influence in the area. Roger! Let's all give it our best and make Queen Himiko proud! Right! All right, Caesar. It's showtime! Uh, so just a diversion? Leave the fool to me! I want the rest of you to bring down that castle! Ready, Nobunaga? <laughs> like rats to cheese! Tonight's feast is finally getting underway. Nobu, the rest of this is up to you. You think you're rather clever, don't you? Prepare yourself! Try to catch me if you dare! and decisions that each combatant makes lead them towards victory or defeat. So the Lady Fortuna reigns victory upon me today, not by luck, but in honor of the opportunities I have awarded myself. Now die. Caesar, stop! It's my duty to protect Nobunaga with my life! Do not interfere. <laughs> Run, Maru! <laughs> What kind of idiot are you? <laughs> the power of wind will be mine! Kevin, please protect him! This power! The treasure of absolute purity! The maiden's sincere devotion to Nobunaga has summoned forth a new power! Oh, sacred treasure! Uh! Ranmaru, uh! come on! That woman... I know her. Uh! You may have escaped death once, but this will mark your end! Uh! Uh! Impossible! Uh! Uh! Come back home, baby! Oh, sacred treasure of wind! Lord Shingen relinquished his pact with you upon his death! Now obey your new master, Nobunaga Oda! Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> we really kicked ass today. And it was all thanks to your crazy idea. See, told ya. The so sacred now, treasures of lightning, fire, and general. wind. Don't let it go to your Their head. power and that man alike have that. completely exceeded the world. The guests for the feast are finally beginning to arrive. Truly, he is the Ace of Wands. The torch that illuminates the darkness. No, Bo. Can anything in this world hold you back? Nobunaga, you have my word. I'm willing to lay down my life to protect you. <laughs> well, that's just how it goes. Thanks to the protection of Joan's sacred treasure, Nobunaga was able to strike down Caesar. News of his triumph quickly raced throughout the land. For the first time in months, the common folk of the Oda Nation could breathe a sigh of relief and carry on their simple lives. Looking good. Keep it steady. Easy now. It is the giant battle armor, Orléans. Using wreckage I recovered from the giant battle armor which fell during our last battle with Takeda, I was able to construct this unit. It is a special gift just for you. The Orleon. The power you summoned from your guardian sacred treasure was quite impressive indeed. However, I believe the Orleon is capable of harnessing its full potential. The well of power? You're right. I can fight too! They've been out here forever, and they're still holed up in their castle. This lord of theirs must be a yellow-bellied coward. Open the gate! Wait! Scratch that. He's a coward and a fool. Om Vaishnavanaya Swaha. to devastate my ranks without lifting one finger of that armor of yours. Was all of this just a ruse to gauge my abilities? I have my eyes on you, Caesar. It is a pleasure to finally make your acquaintance, Kenshin Uesugi. Lord Nobukatsu. gone, we simply have no choice but to place our future in Lord Nobunaga's hands. I hate to say it, but there's no denying his exploits in battle, at least. <laughs> After so many bitter sacrifices, it looks like the Oda clan is finally converging around Nobu. Everything is proceeding just as I'd hoped. Right! Everything worked out! I shouldn't have regrets about anything. And yet... Mitsuhide. Apparently, these are called speakers. And is it true that these speakers will actually improve the castle's defenses? Beats me. But if we could amplify our voices to convey messages, it may help us respond to enemy attacks quicker. And then... Oh, what is that foul smell? I mustn't allow his victories to blind him. <laughs> but Darling is still in a crucial stage. I need his loins to be bursting with vitality. <laughs> That's more like it. This flavor. <laughs> Sweetie pie! There's a fire raging in my body! And only you can put it out! Oh, no, no, no! Nobunaga's not here, you know. Huh? He said something about adjusting his battle armor and ran off. Wait, what's wrong? Your face is bright red! That's none of your concern. Besides, the real question is what are you doing here if my hubby is what around? What do you mean? You were planning on using your position as a performer to get all hot and heavy with them in your battle armor or something, were you? Hot and heavy? What? Closet panic! Wait, no way! And besides, if I was going to fool around with him, I wouldn't 
do it in battle armor. Man. Really? What's the point if you can't feel us? Whoops, uh, that didn't come out right. <laughs> uh, what's wrong? I think that was the first time I'd really seen you smile. So that's what it looks like. Huh? It's rather becoming on you. It's things like this which make you a worthy rival. But I'm not easily beat. I don't intend to share my darling. Where does she get those crazy ideas? I don't have a thing for- Are you ready to go? Uh, Let us begin with basic gesture hits. Become one with your instrument. Play it lovingly. Just stay calm. It's only practice, right? Man, this is hard to watch. If you're gonna be a performer, you gotta act like this thing's an extension of your own arms and legs. Okay. Sorry. Lucky dog. I wonder if an awesome giant battle armor will ever fall into my lap. Apparently, not only did a sacred treasure choose another host in that last battle, the one it chose was a girl who could hear the voice of God. I think it chose someone who immigrated from this star. If this was inevitable, then what is Master Da Vinci's true objective? And our next step then? Should we simply stand by and wait for this to develop? This is a minor concern. Matters of greater importance must still come to pass. The Twelve Holy Guardians will bring their powers together as one. Then the Holy Grail will appear and the world will be saved from the brink of destruction. For the manifestation of the Holy World. And, and the, the realization, realization of perfect, perfect harmony. harmony. Things going. Well, uh, about that. Her treasure's not activating. Not yet. Everything seems to be performing perfectly, though. I highly doubt a flaw in my design is responsible for this. Mm. What is going on? I just don't get it. I remember exactly how it felt, but I can't make it happen again. I know I should be able to do this. I know I have the power to protect him. Ah! What was that for? You're driving me nuts. What? If you keep acting like a damn baby, your sacred treasure's never gonna respond to you. What? You jerk. Did you have to say it like that? If she can't use her sacred treasure, I'm not sure we'll be able to rely on Ron Maru in battle. We've got a lot of work to do. Uh, you're overreacting. And you're not taking this seriously. We won by the skin of our teeth back there. Caesar is still a tremendous threat to us. As long as the Western Star's forces are going after the sacred treasures, time is simply not on our side. If we don't plan everything out carefully, we could all be destroyed. I get that, but you can't expect her to master it overnight. We don't need to pile on the- It's horrible, terrible, very bad news! What is it? <sighs> A messenger just came and told us what he heard. Caesar took control of Takeda's forces. And he just formed an alliance with Kenshin Uesugi himself! You can't be serious! <sighs> I appreciate this. The alliance, I mean. Oh, you needn't thank me. I am merely doing this to uphold order. Although I was a bit uncertain about this arrangement at first, I was assured that Lord Shingen instructed his advisors to seek your help in the event that something should happen to him. That uncertainty is shared, but I must admit, although it is hard to believe, this document appears to be legitimate. I'm happy to hear you say that. Surely Lord Shingen is rejoicing in heaven over our newfound friendship. Possessing both pride and strength, Lord Shinkin was truly a general among generals. I not only admired him as a leader, I thought highly of him as a man. However, I find that I rather despise you. Well now, aren't we harsh? In your heart I can sense that you're a warrior. Oh? I wonder, what is that eye of yours fixed upon? <laughs> he hates your guts! Yeah.
Yeah, that was so lame, Caesar. It's not like I give a damn. Not so long as he forms an alliance huh? with me. And besides, I admire anyone who I find beautiful. Even if that person just happens to despise me. Frankly, this Kinshin fellow is rather intriguing. Takeda and Uesugi formed an alliance? What if their armies decide to invade? Hey, what's wrong? Isn't it obvious? We're running for our lives! Oda is finished, I tell ya! <laughs> Now that Takeda and Uesaki have formed an alliance, I doubt we stand a chance at claiming victory. That and Lord Nobunaga is like a mad dog who will snap at anyone he deems a foe. As such, we will have to act quickly. <sighs> Hayashi and Shibuta were most likely scheming something. Excellent work, Hatsu. You're dismissed. Sir. Why must this happen just as the Oda clan is so close to convert? I suppose I can't turn a blind eye to those two after all. <sighs> What's wrong with me? This hand is already stained with blood. Just do it! Mitsuhide? Uh, Princess Ichi! May I see you for a moment? Yes. Did you... Need something, Princess? Please, you don't need to be so formal with me. I just wanted to hear your voice, that's all. Is that not reason enough to visit you? Oh. <laughs> look at you. You're making a scary face. Huh? You look as though you were cursing something. Something that weighs heavily on your mind. That's what I can see in your eyes. No, I... If you stay in the shadows for too long, you'll wither away. It's all right. Everyone needs a little bit of light in their lives. I'm fine. Any light I receive is wasted on me anyway. But there is someone who needs all that he can get right now. I merely hope to serve as the foundation for that pillar of brightness. You see, where there is light, there will always be shadows. I choose to bear the weight of that darkness. Well, then I want to illuminate that darkness. Is my wish so unimportant to you that your heart is unable to... I think you should go, but thank you. Good night, and sweet dreams. Father, Nobunaga's life is truly blessed, and yet, my life is... Why won't this stupid thing activate? I can't be a burden. Nobunaga needs my help! You're hesitating again. Da Vinci? You've known from the very beginning that my charm was a sacred treasure, didn't you? That's why you brought me to the star, isn't it? Allow yourself some credit, my dear. After all, it was your will that invited us to this feast in the first place. Oh, come on. Not that nonsense again. There is one thing you can do if you are uncertain about your fate. You want me to pick one again? Hmm. So it's the reversed moon, is it? This card is telling you to strike while the iron is hot. Oh, give me a break. I've been trying to do that all day. Be that as it may, your success. Huh? Hey, old man. Nobukatsu. Everybody's telling me it's my job to protect this land. <sighs> Drink up. Nobukatsu. Nobunaga! Huh? Think I could get your help with something? Hmm? Too bad for you, Ranmaru! You see, what a man really wants is a mature, capable woman. I've spent years mastering my secret arts and have developed several techniques that will make my dearly beloved manhood rise up to the heavens! Victory shall be mine! Let's go! <gasps> what could he be up to? Okay, so let me get this straight. You need to feel 
like your life is in danger to make the sacred treasure activate, huh? Sounds like Da Vinci's onto something, but how's that gonna fly if you keep dodging all my shots? Yeah, okay! It's hard, though. Never respond to you as you are now. You're so stuck up on aiming at the target in front of you that you can't see the forest for the trees! Quit being a dumbass! Why do you have to be such a jerk to me all the time? I'm trying my best. I'm doing all this so I can protect you! Protect but... me? That's right. You heard me. Now that Takeda and Weisiki have formed an alliance, we simply cannot put this off any longer. Pardon my impertinence, but I sincerely doubt Lord Nobunaga can see us through this. I agree. We must choose someone better suited to serve as our lord. Wait! Huh? You have it backwards. Now more than ever, Lord Nobunaga must rise to his position as proper leader of the Oda clan. Indeed. I agree with Sir Ayashi. What? I have had my qualms in the past, but these are trying times that our clan is facing. We must come together and surrender to Caesar! <laughs> How could you suggest that? Are you mad? It makes perfect sense. If we continue to fight, the Oda will be laid to waste along with all of his people. They won't let so much as a shadow of our existence remain! But if we surrender, at least we'll be able to protect the Oda name and live to fight another day. <laughs> I am aware that we would be forced to live in shame, but even if it's what we must do to preserve Oda for future generations. Yeah, well, I don't recall saying I wanted anybody to protect me. Oh, come on! I only know how to move forward, got it? I don't care what gets in my way, so if you think you can get in front of me, you're gonna get mowed over. I never look back. You know why? Because I'm going to unite the world! You want to protect me? Aren't you just taking the easy road? What does that mean? Open your eyes and look closely. You see what I am? Don't you understand what you're trying to protect here? I get it now. This is who you are. this the wrong way, haven't I? There's no point in simply protecting one man's life in a struggle of this scale. If you truly are the Savior King, if you're the man who will rule this world in the heavens, then what I want is to protect the future you create! Not bad, kid. Anru, you're starting to make me a little jealous. That doesn't sound good. Oh. Nobu! Lord Nobunaga, we want you to become the official lord of the Oda clan. Furthermore, we would like you to surrender our lands to Caesar. You must do this to protect the Oda name. What kind of coward do you take me for? What? You seriously want to protect our name by surrendering to the enemy? What makes you think the Oda name will be worth a damn once we've lost our honor anyway? So your answer is no? The Oda name has value because it represents the strength of its warriors. Are you so desperate to live that you'd let them take your freedom and dignity? Could you allow a man who'd let himself cling onto a worthless name be your general? Do you honestly think the people will take any pride in a name that has fallen to the enemy? Absolute gonna lead us through a raging inferno. The only way I can go is forward. Got it? Don't expect me to ever ask for your protection. Hang on to your pride and become my swords! Together we'll take down any obstacle that stands in our path! You gotta have faith in me. I'll turn your faith into power. And with that power, I'll conquer this world and the heavens! Power. In the end, that's what it comes down to. I hope my faith is enough. If you can't deal with the shit I just told you, strike me down! And whoever does has to rule this nation, this star, better than I could! <laughs> I've made a terrible mistake. I hate that bastard Caesar for killing
killing Lord Nobuhide. How dare I call myself a vassal if I don't avenge him? How dare I call myself an Oda? Brother, everyone is waiting for you. entrusted our family heirloom with me. He instructed me to give it to you once you were truly worthy to serve as our lord. That time is now. It is the existential bowl. There is both absence and presence. The meaning implied is that the bowl is all-encompassing. Huh, you gotta be shitting me. And so dad wants me to become worthy of the existential bowl? Well, you're on. I won't back down from any man or bull! Takamagahara, revered as a holy land and located on the Eastern Star, is the nexus of the Dragon Veins. It also bridges the Western and Eastern Stars. When importing battle armor or any other goods into the Eastern Star, it is also the first point of entry for all ships. He's going to send Caesar new giant battle armor? I can't seem to understand why King Arthur continues to tolerate that man's failures. If it were up to me, Caesar would have already lost a few of his fingers. Careful, Caesar. Any more of your disappointing failures, and we will be forced to reevaluate your standing with us. What? I owe you, Mr. Monkey! Who are you calling Monkey? <laughs> I want one too! <laughs> sure. Huh? What are you doing? Everyone's looking for you. Aren't those? <laughs> Guess you busted me. You stole them from the castle? Don't you think we need all the supplies for the battle? Don't be so stingy. You want to eat them all yourself? What does that mean? <laughs> Something wrong? Nah. Just remembering some about my little sister. Wow! Never thought you'd have a sister. I bet she's a wild child just like you, huh? She was a good kid, but she died long ago. Huh? Back when I was still little. She was killed by the Oda clan. Huh? Nobunaga's ascension to clan lord eventually brought unity to the Oda clan. In an effort to counter the Caesar-Uesugi alliance, it was decided to strengthen ties with the neighboring nations thereby fortifying Oda's foothold on the Eastern Star. With the additional backing of Queen Himiko of Yamatai's forces, the Oda clan's power grew rapidly. We're at the point where we can no longer afford to ignore those pests from- It appear that you are correct. Yet you still insist on sitting here while I go off to invade Oda. Yes. Splendid! Mind telling me the point of this alliance again? As I told you before. The entire purpose of our alliance is to maintain order during times of war. So you say. But it's as if you knew that forming our alliance would drive Oda to increase their influence. Indeed, it would have required no effort to crush Oda when he was weak. But tell me, Sir Caesar, where would be the fun in that? I'm not following. It sounds like rather than maintain peace, you'd prefer to see the world engulfed in chaos. Precisely right. The continual fighting on the Eastern Star does indeed create chaos. And chaos is most beautiful when disorder is at its finest. In this war-torn world, stability merely creates tension. Therefore, those with tremendous power must battle to break the tension and create further chaos. Flowers in bloom seem more beautiful when their petals are violently strewn about in the wind. What a frightening man. <laughs> I'm a bit jealous. When I see those two like that, I feel like men have a special bond that I simply can't match. I mean, I have that too, because I'm a man, of course. <laughs> She was 
was killed by the Oda clan. Alright, that's enough sparring for me. I'm too hungry. You, uh, got any snacks? As a reward for knocking me down, I'll give you one of my side dishes from dinner tonight. Hell yeah! I can't wait! <laughs> Yobu! Huh? Uh, is there a problem? The Western Star is sending more battle armor? How do you know for sure? Rest assured it's true. I was able to verify this information myself. Takamagahara is traditionally considered a neutral zone, but in the beginning they mostly only traded with Yajai. Since we go way back, they're more than willing to give me info. We were told Caesar made the order for the giant battle armor. He clearly intends to strengthen his forces. I see. Oda develops its own military strength. Clever guy. So what's the plan, Mitsu? Just leave it to me. So you really think this thing will work? Theoretically it will. It was not too long ago that I shared the schematics with Sir Mitsuhide, but I never expected we would have the sudden need to use it. Both of you are pretty smart. I'm sure it'll work. Man, I can't wait till I get my own battle armor. <laughs> what the? Cards? Now? If you lack confidence in yourself, Sir Hideyoshi, then perhaps it wouldn't hurt to surrender yourself to the flow of the quantum once in a while. <sighs> Come to think of it, I couldn't even pull one out last time. your inner balance, how smoothly and efficiently you control the elements, as well as the harmony between oneself and the world. My harmony with the world, huh? <laughs> I'm done being afraid. I'll do everything I can and never look back. I shall send you my strength. For Nobu. We must succeed. It's time! Lord Caesar! What's all this racket? Is there a problem? It's Nobunaga. His battle armor and troops have arrived at our border and seen position for battle. That's so. He set up his troops right in view of our frontline base. Foolish boy is as reckless as ever. Then engage the enemy! Everyone to your battle stations! Did you hear what happened? The Oda clan marched right up to Caesar's main camp with a huge battalion. They probably heard General Caesar ordered a new shipment of giant battle armor and they're scared senseless. Either that or they're idiots. Oh. Looks like they've lowered their security. Our plan worked. They've diverted the majority of their forces over to the main camp. <laughs> Never thought I'd use the fool as a decoy. For this operation to work, we have to make some bold moves. My battle armors. Takamagahara sits at an altitude of 4,300 meters. Generally speaking, the layout consists of some runways, control towers, and a guarded fortress. Any cargo ships arriving from the Western Star land on the second runway. Their arrival time is based on when the Western Star's dragon veins are the most stable with the Eastern Stars. Our recent intel suggests the Eastern Control Tower will have the tightest security. However, your greatest challenge will likely be dealing with the unique nature of the land. How so? Takamagahara's geography creates distortions in the quantum. A large number of turbulent dragon veins intersect there. Consequently, maintaining stable control of the giant battle armor will be extremely difficult throughout that entire area. So the interference of the dragon veins is strong enough to incapacitate them? That's pretty much the gist of it. And that, my friends, is where my dragon vein control terminals come in. Mm -hmm. For this operation to succeed, you must enter the base on foot and leave your battle armor behind. Since this is an infiltration, you must focus on a stealth entry. I was able to find out when the guards change shifts. The 
rest is in their hands, so for now we wait. I wonder what they use these canals for. This place creeps me out. Like this. There's no way I'm fighting on an empty stomach. Never go into battle hungry. If you don't eat for several days, you'll end up getting so weak you won't even be able to stop drooling all over yourself. Trust me, it's not how you want to spend your final days. By any chance, is that what happened to your sister? That's right. We were farmers. Our land happened to be part of Oda's domain. We were so poor we were barely scraping by. But we still tried to make the most of it. Unfortunately... One year we got hit with this huge famine. Everything changed after that. What puny harvest stupid war. We had nothing left. No other options except to starve. My little sister Asahi had always been kind of weak. Naturally the lack of food didn't help much. She was the first to go. And now I call this a snack. This much rice might have saved her life. Hideyoshi. I'm sure it's a pretty common story down there. That's how the world goes, right? I can't really blame the Yoda clan for what happened to us. Nah, that's a lie. Really, I hated their guts. There wasn't a day that went by that I didn't want to avenge my sister and all the farmers who starved to death. That's pretty much the reason I enlisted with the Yoda clan's army in the first place. Oh, crap. I mean, don't get me wrong. I've totally given up on that whole crazy plot for revenge. I mean, I'm cool with Lord Nova ruling the world like he says. I'm here to help him, even. <sighs> we all know how strong Lord Nobu is. And don't you think it makes the most sense for the world's strongest general to rule over everything? Just because he's strong? If you can pull off something that crazy, you've got to be one hell of a ruler, right? And if you're one hell of a ruler, you won't let something like what happened to my sister happen again. So if I can help him reach... Sounds nice. Yeah, but the other side is. I promise if I ever catch that Lord Nobu acting like some punk-ass bastard... Uh, look out! Then I'll kill that piece of shit right on the spot. Then I'll be the one that will unite the world. <laughs> Why don't we just keep this between you and me, huh? reason the landing lights on runway 13 just turned off. But I thought that runway had been abandoned years ago. Maybe there was an accident on our scheduled runway and they're rerouting us. Roger. Adjusting the point of descent now. Something's jamming my car! Back! Incoming craft. From units Uno to Sinke. Divert your path to the old runway 6. Roger. Oh! You heard the guy. Right? Yeah. Finished indeed. All of our preparations are perfectly in order. Here it goes. That giant lump of rock was in my way. Dragon veins. 
The condenser gathers them together and allows us to lay them wherever we wish. If it weren't for the rare nature of this area, then the device would be unusable. Once we are able to tame the raging dragon veins, then battle armors can be piloted unfettered. Sir Mitsuhide's leadership won this battle. I'd hate to be the other side with him as my enemy. Nothing. No response from the... No, Caesar! Landing on runway 13? Why is it going over there? Just get our pipelines back up now! <laughs> now, to help ourselves to the goodies. Nice try, but... Our Lord Caesar has a contingency plan for every possible scenario. What's going on? No way. Not on my watch. Hideyoshi! Well, come on, move it, move it, move it, move it, please! Your bullying days are over, you sack of crap! For you. A pilot was inside one of the battle armors? Flying Nimbus! <laughs> 
monkey has become the monkey king. Well, madame, I am pleased to announce that we have an exciting new guest for our feast. Yoshitoya Tomi and Goku are ready to fight! Yeah! How did he activate a sacred treasure? That low-class monkey? things while I'm away, would you, Brutus? But, Commander, wouldn't you prefer to have me serve by your side? I don't want to worry about this place while I'm gone. And there's no one here who I trust more than you. Here is Admiral Magellan's report, sir. It seems as though you're set to win this war with or without me. What makes you say that? It's not as if I just started serving under you yesterday. Is it true? Are you intending to use this next battle as means to- I can't fool you, can I? It's just as we thought. Nobunaga's retainer is the maid of Domremy, who Master Da Vinci brought to the Eastern Star. Domremy? It's her? That's right. Joan Kaguya de Arc, who has allegedly heard the voice of heaven. But who can say what it told her? Da Vinci must have known her identity from the start. At any rate, the Oda have been left to their own devices for too long. It's time they learned what happens to those who incur my wrath. Most Eastern Star Nations don't possess nearly this many suits of giant battle armor. And even better, each one is equipped with its own sacred treasure. They make an extraordinary force to be reckoned with. Our neighboring nations will start trembling in their boots when they hear the name Oda. <laughs> Hideyoshi, cool it. What do I do now? They're not all fools. They'll be on high alert from now on. We should use this period of calm to plan our next move and wait. True, but this tension has caused a ton of guys to come begging at our feet for alliances. This shit's pretty sweet. This was indeed the case. Thanks to the addition of its newest giant battle armor, Goku, the Oda now enjoyed a power that rivaled or surpassed that of its fellow nations. Furthermore, a battle armor that is equipped with a sacred treasure is extremely rare, and on its own worth many of the non-equipped units. A normal giant battle armor does not stand a chance before such vast power. As such, the lands surrounding Oda were forced to make a difficult decision. They could risk forming an alliance with the unpredictable Nobunaga, or they could wage war with him while he was still learning to harness his newfound power. My primary concern is Caesar. He's trouble. There's no way he's just going to back down without a fight. He'll be attacking soon. <laughs> if I were Caesar, it makes sense to me to attack us while we were still getting used to using our newly equipped giant battle armor. I wouldn't hold back. Me too. Have you relocated the civilians? Yeah, I'm just about done. We had a hard time getting people to go along with it, though. Well, even if they wrecked the place, as long as the people are okay, our nation will be cool, too. If worse comes to pass, I shall gladly welcome your people aboard the Amano Torafune. Thanks, pal. I'm counting on you. <sighs> I'm just happy to help. Orlean's defenses are absolutely impregnable. I won't let harm come to a single civilian. Look at that! Speaking like a true man. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Not sure if I'm up for placing all my bets on Orleans just yet. Huh? In 
that case, would gambling on a card game suit your fancy instead? an ominous pick. In this life, everything has a beginning and an end. Death comes to all. Death. The giant battle armor have a built-in activation time limit. If you surpass that limit and then attempt to trigger the sacred treasures, it will cause the armor to become dangerously hot. And you could say that is the same as beckoning death. But I did that and nothing happened to my armor. Well... As the battle drags on, the armor's performance gets heavier. That's when it's very slurp, slurpy color. Uh, 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 overheats. I think I get it. So I'm afraid you will not be able to protect anyone if you act rashly. <laughs> we can't afford our entire strategy. <clears throat> I'm not gonna let some Grim Reaper scare me. I'll put my life on the line and protect everyone. You seem rather confident. Hmm. state of flux. Light to darkness, life to death. The eastern star's rhythm is being disturbed. Will he prove worthy to sit with us at the round table? I am eager to find out. As am I, Senior King. Shortly thereafter, King Arthur's words rang true for the inhabitants of the Eastern Star. Caesar's armies made a move towards Nobunaga's nation of Owari in an all-out invasion campaign. Not yet! Ah! Retreat! Retreat! Oh, no, we and so Shibita were both killed in battle. I was informed they fought nobly until the end. The enemy is currently in the mountains north of the castle. There are also two battalions of battle armor and one giant battle armor in the western forest. I believe their main forces are on the eastern hill. It's here you can see that there are three battalions of battle armor and three suits of giant battle armor. And on top of that, there's an additional twelve naval ships in the lake facing us. So what do you think, Mitsu? He has us completely surrounded. It's obvious what he wants. He wants us all dead. <clears throat> What's up with this bullshit? I figured this pansy was just another cheap shot backstabber. But he's got us screwed. And unless we think of something fast, we're gonna lose. Lord Caesar, all of the battalions are in position. Excellent. Naga Oda's head! Cannons! Commence your attack! The dragon and tiger clash. We suffered any casualties? None so far. Princess Ichi was kind enough to lead the evacuation, and all is going smoothly. Caesar's main forces are on the move and will be here any second! The enemy has us outnumbered. They can surround us, blocking our exits. Now then, how should we counter their attack, Nobu? Hmm. Ramaru! Monkey! We're pulling out the giant battle armor! Nobunaga Oda, and I'm gonna send you straight to hell! Don't quit firing for one second! Turn this land into a sea of fire! Ah! I swear on my life to 
to protect this nation. Ha! On our sword! By now, all of Oda's giant battle armor are most likely gushing geysers of steam. Oh. <laughs> hey, be careful when cooling Orleans down! You there! Don't spray water directly on the radiator! You'll blow us all off! Oh man, it's hot! It's like a sauna in here! The armor gonna be ready to head back out? Please give us a bit more things due to overheating is proving difficult to expel. Please feel free to eat all you want. Take your time and get in line. We still have plenty to go around. Here. Thanks so much. As soon as Caesar makes his move, let's do it. Yeah. He'll wait until we've started to overheat. Then he'll enter the battle in his Quovaris. Since this afternoon, the amount of time our giant battle armor can fight has dramatically deteriorated. If we want to stand any chance at winning, we'll have to finish this quickly. You know what we should do? We should get rid of that Lance of Light. Yes, indeed. Master Da Vinci and I were studying it, and we came to realize something. But consequentially, it can't fire at its full strength very often. After he shoots it once, it has to wait and recharge its energy before he can fire it again. And that'll leave the bastard wide open. That's right. First we need to lure Caesar out and trick him into using the Lance of Light. Ronmaru will then deflect it with Orleans. Before Caesar has time to launch his second attack, Nobu, you and Hideyoshi will take him down. Okay. What makes you sure this will actually work? That's where Himiko comes in. We'll need her support. My support? Ah! Nobunaga, today we settle this. Dinner is ready. Feast, like the dragons you are! He's here. Nobu, Caesar is on the move. Rodmaru, monkey, let's go! Fire! Yeah.
dragons, bear your fangs! Uh. What's this? It's charging too slow! Be careful to stay out of enemy's range while maintaining altitude. Roger! Draw as much of the Dragon Bane's power into the condenser as possible. Don't allow it to flow into Caesar's giant battle armor. Yes, milady. They pulled it off. Uh, they blocked the Dragon Bane's! Caesar! Uh, uh, Monkey! I'm on it! You ready to apologize to my dad and Shingen on the other side? I'm going to lose. It ends here? What nonsense is that? Not yet! I can't die yet! Oh no! I'll finish you! Right now! The power! Give me the strength to crush my foes! Heavens hereby, please! What? Oh, goddess! Oh, Quovatus! A beam of energy? What could this mean? <gasps> My lady, the quantum condenser's values are rising abnormally high! What in heaven's name is going on? Nobunaga? You have my thanks, Eastern Star. I see you've decided to bestow me with all your power after all! Yeah! I can't!
say you? Hmm. On the Western Star, do you drink tea? What's that? Tea? Well, yes. Well then, join me for a cup. I invite you to a tea ceremony. What? Just call it thanks for showing me a good time, Caesar. <laughs> On the Western Star, do you drink tea? What's that? Tea? Well, yes. I invite you to a tea ceremony. What? Just call it thanks for showing me a good time. <laughs> Very well then. I'll come. Lower your weapons! Get ready, men! For tea! But daybreak brought with it a terrible scene to behold. The castle and lands around it were like a vision of hell bathed in the morning light. If not for Nobunaga's tea ceremony of the warring nations, there would have been no rest for the people of this land. And yet, thanks to the frightful events of the day prior, optimism was scarcely on the minds of people from either side. The memory of that battle turned into a heavy darkness. And that darkness carved a deep scar into Joan's heart. Send the injured soldiers out into our camp, but be sure to let the women and children out of the castle first. Yes, sir. The true battle has only just begun. Nobu. This is scarcely ideal, but at least this plan of Nobunaga's has prevented any more casualties. No. Uh. I'm afraid it is still too soon to say that. You were really thinking when you invited him to a tea ceremony. Uh, yeah, it just kind of came out. Regardless, there's no denying that we would have suffered crippling losses had the fight persisted. Don't gotta tell me. I know we destroyed our whole star. <sighs> Sorry. It wasn't your fault. My strategy wasn't clever enough. Dad said, if you know neither the enemy nor yourself, you will succumb in every battle. To tell you the truth, those words didn't mean shit to me back then. But now I think I kind of get what Dad was trying to tell me. If I'm going to win this war, I can't do it by myself. Nobu. If only I hadn't gotten in his way. Dad was full of crap most of the time, but for once I'll take his words to heart. In that case, what did you have in mind? During the tea ceremony, we can get a look at Caesar's true colors. Through him, we can find out what the Western Star is really after. You think the dude's actually gonna open up to you? Good point. Nobu, how do we know he won't just try to assassinate you? Weapons aren't allowed at the tea ceremonies. We told him to come unarmed, didn't we? Still, be careful. Do you honestly expect Caesar to do as we ask? Well, we don't know for sure yet, do we? That's the whole point of this deal. <sighs> Nobu, really? Oda nearly suffered a devastating blow, and there would have been no way we could have recovered from it. The enemy knows- Hell, I know that. He wants our sacred treasures. But who wouldn't, am I right? <sighs> what are you gonna tell him if he asks you to give them to him? Too bad. That's what. If he were the type to take no for an answer, he never would have declared war against us. Remember what Da Vinci told us. There is one thing I would like to point out. Whoever dominates the sacred treasures rules the entire world. Badasses. He needs badass dudes that can control the sacred treasures. But that's you, isn't it? You're right. He would have killed you otherwise. But he's not just after the sacred treasures. He needs their users. Well, at any rate... I had a feeling this would be an issue, so I wrote up a short document with some of the ways for you to respond if Caesar does ask you to give him the sacred treasures. Give it a look, at least. Sure. Brother. Ichi? Need something? Yes. Pardon me. I just had a suggestion for the tea ceremony today. I thought we could change the bowls we were using. Uh, 
special bowl. Right. I felt that it would be appropriate for this particular event. And it would mean a lot to Father if we used it. Guess it wouldn't hurt to have Dad watch over me. Oh, and Nobukatsu, too. I agree. Brother, at the ceremony, I would like to serve as head hostess, please. I'm counting on you, Ichi. Right. A tea ceremony? Huh. So, Bianchi, um, what's a tea ceremony? It'll probably be like a royal tea party or something. Uh, there'll be music and dancers and stuff like that. Oh, then it'll be really awesome, won't it? We'll finally get to dance again. Sha -la 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 -la. Nobunaga, should I attempt to capture you first and then present your sacred treasures to King Arthur? Or should I defeat you and steal all of the sacred treasures you've collected so far? But if I accept you as an ally, I could overthrow Alexander. And don't forget who's in that castle, right? It's got that princess in it, right? Right? I'm so jealous. Does this tea ceremony have anything to do with your low spirits, perhaps? No. I just feel worthless. Very well. The fool. Interesting. It refers to one whose will is free and who thinks outside the box. He is innocent, pure, naive, and yet filled with possibility, creative, and ingenious. Of course, most people would not consider those words to go hand in hand with their image of a fool. Sounds like Nobunaga. <laughs> I've heard that these tea ceremonies can be complex, but the point is to create an enjoyable experience. I wonder what emotions Nobunaga will embrace during this little diversion. We'll see. But if he is able to channel his strengths as the fool, we may be in for another surprise. Brother, since we were little, you've come back to this waterfall time and time again, haven't you? Yeah, and you'd sneak up on me while I was trying to think. I'm nervous. This tea ceremony will determine our fate. And because it's so important, as the hostess, I cannot afford to make any mistakes. Don't worry about it, sis. We're dealing with guys from the Western Star. They don't know squat about tea ceremonies, so they can't tell if you screw it up. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Nobunaga? Hmm? I'll do anything to save the Oda clan. Even if it means my life, no sacrifice is too great. That's my job. I'll take care of it. Okay? Still, I just want you to know, no matter what the future holds, I'll do what it takes. Come on! You're a princess. You don't gotta worry about this stuff. You should lose- How could I? This is my life's sole purpose. You're a strange one, sis. Well, yes. I'm related to you, aren't I? Don't let your guard down! We're dealing with Caesar's army! They may try something during the ceasefire. This may be a ceasefire, but stay on high alert. Be ready to charge into battle at a moment's notice. Any funny business and you two know what to do. 
I'll tell the others that once. I hope it all works out, but if not, I'll be ready. Yeah. Nobu doesn't know about this. It's strictly between you and me. Sir. If Caesar does anything even the least bit suspicious, act immediately. Sir. Go. Would you look at that? Caesar's acting as meek as a little lamb. Huh? Let me see. I wonder how long he can keep up the act. Come on, I don't see him right now. No! Get us through this, please. You can't let Caesar set the pace. How beautiful. <clears throat> She's like a goddess. This eastern star of yours is truly blessed. Such beautiful maidens reside here. So, man, you like tea? I suppose I do, but eastern tea is new to me, so it's hard to say. However, there is much beauty in the ceremony, and although the atmosphere is solemn, it has its charm. That right? Well, sorry we couldn't set up better digs for this whole deal. Short notice. No, it's fine, really. Call it elegance and simplicity. This is our family heirloom, the existential bowl. A bowl? Is what we see real, or is our reality an illusion? Looking into the bowl, is it nothingness you see, or is nothingness itself something? Enjoy. <clears throat> Brother? This is my tea ceremony. So we're going to do things my way. How can we enjoy the tea if we nitpick over the rules? Feel free to be yourself. I see. That's how he thinks. Oh, well, if you insist. <laughs> On the Western Star, you do this kind of stuff? It's extravagant. Yeah, we've got a bunch of old-fashioned crap like this on the Eastern Star. You must think it's pretty annoying. Where I come from, it's no better, I assure you. The burden of social etiquette can be quite overwhelming. Ah, there he goes again, belly aching as usual. This Arthur. He's the big shot you take orders from, right? He is a noble man. Please refer to him with respect. So what's his story? Why do you ask? I've heard that he pretty much runs the whole show over there. I'd like to get to know the guy. Is that right? In that case, this is all you need to know. King Arthur is none other than the Savior King of the Western Star. The Savior King? Nobunaga isn't the only savior king? <sighs> Soon, with the power of the sacred treasure wielders, King Arthur will call forth the legendary Holy Grail. With the Grail's infinite power, he will finally be able to save our world from the brink of ultimate destruction. Well, damn. So if this guy doesn't get his magic cup, what exactly is going to happen? It would be the end for the people. Now then, let me get to the point. You understand my situation, so you see why I need your sacred treasures. That's all of them, including the sacred treasures of fire and wind that Lord Shingen handed down to you. Then, you and all of your forces would be placed under my command. If you accept these terms, I guarantee a peaceful life for those residing under the flag of the Oda clan. I should have known. All right then. This is the moment of truth. I can't have it. Not handing mine over. 
Screw that. Furthermore, if any of your neighboring warring states should threaten your domain, I shall offer you my support in repelling them. Simply put, I will protect this land and its people as if they were my own. Like two lions staring eye to eye, the word retreat has not so much as touched upon their minds. Will they clash as equals? Or will one tear the other asunder with its mighty fangs, aiming for even greater heights? If I hand my sacred treasures over, I'm sure you'll try your best to protect my land and people and yada yada. But considering the size of your balls, am I totally off or are you planning on conquering the entire Eastern Star? Because if so, you'll have to count me out. You seem to be mistaken on one account. I am not required to negotiate with you. You are not the one destined to save this world. You are no savior king. That's not true. You're wrong. Run, Maru. <sighs> I saw the truth in a vision. Nobunaga is the only one who can save this world from ruin. Nobunaga is the only savior king. A vision? And you saw Nobunaga, not King Arthur. You must be mistaken. Oh, there are two Savior Kings, you say? Why, this is quite the surprise. The Savior King? And there are two of them? Ron Maru? Man, you always say the weirdest shit. <laughs> take more than prophecy to change me. I'm gonna handle things my own way. Until a while ago, all I wanted was power. I just wanted the giant battle armor. That's why I raided the Western Star's cargo ships. But now, I'm not interested in how much power I have or what I can do. I'm interested in the guys who can really use that power. And that means you too. I bet the Western Star sent the giant battle armor down in the first place to see if some badass guy could pilot it. But since we didn't know that, we've all been just butting heads instead of working together. All we could do was see that we wanted more power. So what do you know? You and I end up clashing with each other again. Trashing my place and for what? Can't you feel King Arthur pulling at our strings? What are you getting at? If we keep fighting over these sacred treasures, all we'll get out of it is two busted up stars. And if you kill me, then King Arthur loses an awesome pilot. You know I'm right, bro. We shouldn't be fighting each other right now. No, Bo. I see. Then when would we settle the score? We can do it when I meet this King Arthur of yours. That's reasonable. In that case, I shall make sure you meet him. Someday. Until that time comes, I propose a temporary alliance. And as proof, I shall do everything... <sighs> In exchange, I will be taking your sister, Princess Ichi, along with me. What? Princess Ichi? Oh, no. I shall take her to be my queen. <clears throat> Damn you, Caesar! Do you honestly expect him to accept that offer? He asks too much. Preposterous! There's no way. He's practically taking her hostage. A moment, if you will. This pertains to my wedding arrangements. I shall take it upon myself to personally offer an answer. I would be honored to accept your proposal. Ichi? Are you sure? Princess Ichi. Ugh. If my life can in any way save my brother, the lands under Oda, and the people who live on these lands, no, we do as you have asked. However... However... 
If you should fail to keep your end of the promise, I will kill you, even if it means my own death. Do you still wish to marry me?
on the Western Star. Do you drink tea? Yes. I invite you to a tea ceremony. What? Just call it thanks for showing me a good time. <laughs> Very well then. I'll come. We've agreed to a ceasefire. Lower your weapons. Get ready, men! For tea! But daybreak brought with it a terrible scene to behold. The castle and lands around it were like a vision of hell bathed in the morning light. If not for Nobunaga's tea ceremony of the warring nations, there would have been no rest for the people of this land. And yet, thanks to the frightful events of the day prior, optimism was scarcely on the minds of people from either side. <laughs> The memory of that battle turned into a heavy darkness, and that darkness carved a deep scar into Joan's heart. Send the injured soldiers out into our camp, but be sure to let the women and children out of the castle first. Yes, sir. The true battle has only just begun. Nobu. This is scarcely ideal, but at least this plan of Nobunaga's has prevented any more ca- Soon to say that. You were really thinking when you invited him to a tea ceremony. Uh, yeah, it just kind of came out. Regardless, there's no denying that we would have suffered crippling losses had the fight persisted. Don't gotta tell me. I know we dodged one hell of a bullet. It could have destroyed our whole star. <sighs> Sorry. It wasn't your fault. My strategy wasn't clever enough. Dad said, if you know neither the enemy nor yourself, you will succumb in every battle. To tell you the truth, those words didn't mean shit to me back then. But now I think I kind of get what Dad was trying to tell me. If I'm going to win this war, I can't do it by myself. Nobu. If only I hadn't gotten in his way. Dad was full of crap most of the time, but for once I'll take his words to heart. In that case, what did you have in mind? During the tea ceremony, we can get a look at Caesar's true colors. Through him, we can find out what the Western Star is really after. You think the dude's actually gonna open up to you? Good point. Nobu, how do we know he won't just try to assassinate you? Weapons aren't allowed at the tea ceremonies. Careful. Do you honestly expect Caesar to do as we ask? Well, we don't know for sure yet, do we? That's the whole point of this deal. <sighs> Nobu, really? Oda nearly suffered a devastating blow, and there would have been no way we could have recovered from it. The enemy knows this, and will no doubt come to us with a list of demands. Hell, I know that. He wants our sacred treasures. But who wouldn't, am I right? <sighs> what are you gonna tell him if he asks you to give them to him? Too bad, that's what. If he were the type to take no for an answer, he never would have declared war against us. Remember what Da Vinci told us. There is one thing I would like to point out. Whoever dominates the sacred treasures rules the entire world. Badasses. He needs badass dudes that can control the sacred treasures. But that's you, isn't it? You're right. He would have killed you otherwise. But he's not just after the sacred treasures. He needs their users. Well, at any rate. I had a feeling this would be an issue, so I wrote up a short document with some of the ways for you to respond if Caesar does ask you to give him the sacred treasures. Give it a look, at least. Sure. Ichi? Need something? Yes. Pardon me. I just had a suggestion for the tea ceremony today. I thought we could change the bowls we were using. Bowl. Right. I felt that it would be appropriate for this particular event. And it would mean a lot to Father if we used it. Guess it wouldn't hurt to have Dad watch over me. Oh, and Nobukatsu, too. I agree. Brother, at the ceremony, I would like to serve as head hostess, please. I'm counting on you, Ichi. Right.
A tea ceremony. Huh. So, Bianchi, um, what's a tea ceremony? It'll probably be like a royal tea party or something. Uh, there'll be music and dancers and stuff like that. Oh, then it'll be really awesome, won't it? We'll finally get to dance again. Sha la 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 Nobunaga, should I attempt to capture you first and then present your sacred treasures to King Arthur? Or should I...